What what good, bro? What good, bro? What good? That, you know, was passed along. Actually, go for Gus. There's, there's somebody that you might- Julie's trapped in the trailer? Oh my God. Don't be afraid. <clears throat> Mayor, Mr. Mayor. Wait, oh, I, I don't have a he running probably, pass. I don't have a running pass. He's probably oh. missing in that elevator. You don't want to see him hey, in there. Mayor. Hi. Can I talk to you uh, about, uh, about what? He's got a legislative proposal. Wants to ban uh, fees on a. Uh, wants to ban fees on ATMs and government buildings. Um, I don't think we can do anything about that. Okay, there's your answer. And the reason I, I think we can't do anything about that is because I can't track who is, like, got ownership of them, I guess, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, they're leased, they're, like, leased out by Group 6, right? <clears throat> so. Yep. Good luck. Are you I'm trapped? trapped. <laughs> yep, you too. Good luck. <laughs> the, 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 the door was broken. Oh, I'm hungry. I have chips. You want chips? Um, yeah. Wait, how many you got? Uh, not that many. Just four. We will purchase new chips. Yeah. New chip. Variant, thanks for subbing. Marty, thanks for subbing. Lord Vimentin, thanks for subbing. Does she have black hair? Because she's at City Hall, so her pet's not loading properly. Energy bar of heck. Water bottle of hell. I forgot to leave my gun at home. Wait, no I didn't. Yeah. She has no idea where I am. <laughs> uh. Mm -mm. Michael Towney looking ass? Who the F is that? Ooh. <clears throat> Wedding suit. You need a mask though. So do you. What? No. Uh, yep. Uh, yes. I think <laughs> the, well, so the entire Nike key, I think, is just fucking dead in the water. Oh, um, well, yeah, so Nick's missing. I'm sure that y'all are focused on that. Yeah. Uh, I can check what the cost is. Okay. And ask, but I have no idea. I wasn't. I wasn't uh, does anyone have a max uh, mask for the mayor? No. You look like Vivek. Yeah. Oh, no. But the non-melanin version. <laughs> yeah, you both look. I look like white uh, okay. Vivek. <laughs> does anybody have a? Does anyone have a mask for, for me? Nope. Uh, it's okay, guys. It'll work out in the end. Alex does. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Nakota looking sharp. Looking good. Oh, you too. Yeah. I like the bow tie. Thanks. Yeah. Bow tie is nice. Yep. A couple more times. Oh, God, it's one of I wish I could get away with wearing one. Well, I guess I, I'm just not. Really? Am I good? You're not goofy yeah, enough. No, I wasn't going to say you goofy. You gotta be goofier. <laughs> I think I'm a little too self conscious, probably, for the bow tie for the time being, but you look uh, very dapper. Thanks. I'm an old man. I get to wear old man stuff like bow ties. What happened yesterday? Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry about your car. It was super cool, though, by the way. Super, super, super cool. My, 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 my entire what, what, everything, it, it was just fucked. Uh, uh, how much money do I owe you? 
I don't, I don't care about the money. What? Does, well, how did you manage that? You she, might... she got a felony. Ooh. How, how did you get a felony? Uh, no, I got a diversion <laughs> program as a first time offender. So you I don't actually diversion? have it on my MDT. Yeah, I was going to. Wait. So what happened? What happened? Um, I went to go north to return your car back to your house. Right. And apparently. Apparently, there had been some cops chasing me that I did not see because Still I was in the face in the really loudly, so I didn't hear any sirens, right. and I didn't see anybody. Right. And apparently, um, I smoked the shit out of I them. Think he's thinking Oops, deeply. And then I pulled over for ice cream. You pulled and over pulled for up. ice cream? Yeah. I didn't know anybody was following me. I didn't know I was getting chased. <laughs> yeah, if I had yeah, seen lights yeah. and I sirens will. behind me, I would have stopped immediately. So, I've been there, done that. <laughs> um... So I stopped for ice cream, and then a cop pulled up, and he's like, who's driving this car? And uh, for some reason, my lawyer brain just fell out of the back of my head and died, and my dumbass is like, me, I was driving. Right, so you were, you were being honest. Should have blamed it on Joey then, Toes, man. I should have. Anyway, then I was arrested. Right then. And then, then the little baby Why? crane was all like, who, who's driving this car? And I said, me, he's like, and who's going oh. to jail for reckless evading? And then I started how, crying and he made me turn you, around and arrested me. How were you recklessly evading, though? I wasn't it's, recklessly evading. It's acronym season. I was driving like a pro. <laughs> I was driving better than I've ever driven in my whole life. Oh, I've never driven that well, ever. And for um, some reason, I was just, I was possessed by a speed demon. That, that's what the demon does to you, though. Well, I wasn't going to hold open cart as an excuse. No. <laughs> so, the, the, like, I'm sorry, I was possessed by a speed demon and its need for speed. Hmm. I, I Listen, Michael, you didn't tell me that car was a fucking spaceship and if we could fucking send me booshing into space I, if I, I, I fucking took a beach hard enough. I, told you I didn't realize. I, I didn't know what, what that was going to uh, mean okay. and how fast I was going to get there, EMS you know? Is I've heard we've had a lot of cases recently. Beb, I don't know. You can't, you you can't blame it on Mike, Bib. <laughs> I'm not blaming it on him. This car is totally super cool. And I did go uh -huh. on Edino. And nobody's sick as there. Fuck. Didn't crash into anything. So lovely. Yeah. Well, now, you, now you got bit by See, the demon, I, I guess. The demon. The yeah. car demon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I drive around. Yelling, Although, for some I'm reason, my, my entire fucking out, trans they need help, then... transmission. Sorry for you. Oh. What's the time and time proposal? Oh, What's the flip? Ready, so we're fucking, pretty, uh... pretty up there. I didn't know your shit was automatic. Um, I'm used to was, but, I mean, I, I, I put it up there with a it should, you, I don't know how you fucking for, did that. It was just like, non-existing. On it, such as if there's existing charges that you think would already be a good qualifier. But everything else was aggravated petty. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's what I, but the I, 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 I was looking, transmission I, I was just gone. Aggravated petty implies unless the you're it's getting to the point where <laughs> that, you there's no transmission left with uh, oh. fucking the LEO one. But I mean, they're being. I don't know how you manage to do that with automatic equipment. I, yeah, that's the only reason I kept why. trying to shift like it was a manual. I mean, once again, it, it, they're, they're, oh, they're, a charge that's, exists. That's why I'm asking. Like, is it they're they're going to oh, be getting okay. that charge plus the possession of it if they're caught? Also, like, is, the, uh, the the cops drove is it, it back, to the point I where think. you're needing something in between the aggravated petty back. and uh, the. the you're saying they could have fried it? Yeah, they could have fucked it up. It wasn't me. It was the cops. Wait, wait. What do you mean it was gone? The transmission was just completely dead. There was no like you, you know how a transmission works, right? You have the plates and everything. Mm -hmm. Every single plate was just broken. Holding up medical. It wouldn't bite at all. Like it, it was gone. Aid to others as well. Uh, sue him civilly. <laughs> they sue him civilly. Sue the cops civilly. <laughs> did, did you take pictures of the way it was when you got it? Uh, didn't. Robbed in the moment. I did. I, I didn't expect anything. Like I pulled it out of my garage, and then it, you know there was some, a, a, a window missing or something. But that's about it. Someone sees it. And then as I was going down the highway, it just fucking right. yeah, poofed. I, I the the, 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 the trans, like transmission was just gone. If it's a so setup, how does it drive without a transmission? Like it. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> it locked up a few times, and then the, uh, the entire thing just died. Started smoking. I was like, yeah, "All right, well, if I keep driving this, I'm probably gonna die." Just be the it was yeah. in perfectly drivable condition when last I left it. Okay, so you're so, saying after you left it, whoever drove it back fucked it up? Yeah, wh 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 whoever did that, whatever cult uh, that was. God, I can't wait for the next Okay. Uh, fuck. Who fucking was it? Who, who was it? Back? I I don't know. I don't know who drove it back. Who freaking was it? Also, Michael, uh, it's hell life, by the way. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
Hello? Uh, Michael talked to Mr. K with me yesterday. Oh, so he, he, he's going through with that shit? I'm pretty sure he will. I guess so. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> what was well, that I wasn't expecting noise? anything less, really. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're good, though. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, he, he seems genuinely surprised that I showed up to talk to him as well. He was like, all right, let's... You're showing a showing a new side of yourself. I'm like, oh, what? You know what, Michael? I think it was I think it was Bones. Wait, why drove you it th back? Why do you think that? drove it back? Because Bones and Cornwood were both on scene, and Cornwood wouldn't fuck up cars. I feel like it was Bones because he was a particularly. I don't think Cornwood could fit in the car though. But exactly, so it had to be Bones. I don't have Bones' number. I think. I have his number. I'll send I it to ha you. I have yeah. his number. There you go. Yeah, send it to me. I'll give him a call. I'm calling him right the freak now. All right, that works too. <clears throat> did Cantor say she wasn't coming? Uh, she yes. Did. Oh, then we should start, huh? We should start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did you throw your ID? In the, when you threw your ID in the water last night, did you throw something else? No, it was the ID. Huzzah! 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 It's great live. Huzzah! Good morning, Starshine. There hello. It says hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Where's the video recorder? Uh, she's not online. <laughs> we did decide on an alternative. Are we ready to begin? Yes. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Uh, some news. Our first ever pardon reoffended the day afterwards. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> um, but for those twenty-two hours, how long was it, Max? Probably not even 22 hours, man. That was a good run. <laughs> we the, had those, a good run. For those we 18 hours, <laughs> it was a good run. Hey, what, look, man, you know what? Let the people not say that we are not merciful. <laughs> well, hey, look, I stick by what I said, right? Uh, I think that if there was DNA at the time and there was better statements and police protocol and everything done, I think he would have been found guilty. Uh, but there wasn't. So I think it's appropriate to issue a pardon because it's never going to happen again because now we have DNA. True. And you know, if he reoffends, then it just confirm what I thought and I'm okay with it. It's what it is. Yep. Did indeed reoffend. <laughs> uh, some 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 uh, important intel based on that. Um. Wait, never mind. I don't have anything more. <laughs> I don't, okay. I don't know right. if that's like public info. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Probably gonna Wait. be hearing a lot of that. Uh today. yeah. <laughs> Why's that? I think there's a lot of shit exploding right now. <laughs> I think our sewers is about to collapse. What? Methane? Is it the uh, methane? I don't know what it is, but I, our entire sewer system is about to fucking crumble. So I've been on Tex Mex oh, no. kick with the beans and the chili. <laughs> um, that might be that might be the trigger. That might that, that might be what yep. kicked it off. Yeah. Marlboro Reds and beans. You get, ah! you know, that's the result right there. Okay. There's something that I want to bring up. Uh, how feasible would it be to get charging stations added to like Sandy and Harmony and Toledo? Um, yeah, a lot of people have requested someone those. lock this real quick. Because I'm. Lance, yeah. we locked it. Dakota, come on, man. You gotta yeah you start doing stuff yourself around here. Yeah, uh, apparently How feasible is it? I'm not yeah. sure. Because when I wake up and I pull out the my <laughs> family car from the driveway, hey, what happened? Wait, she drives an electric? Uh, that's what 301 I'm said, but we're fine in here. Polito, yeah. Hoping that it makes it. Oh, Anna, can you speak up a little bit? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Um, that has been a, a widely requested. I think that's kind of like going on the the back burner of stuff that cannot happen because yeah. everyone's busy <laughs> okay is that I, it's what my weeb grandson would say <laughs> oh, God, I, hate I really hate him too by the way he's the worst Why is that? 
You joined the club. Welcome. He tried to. <laughs> he tried to give thank me, you. He tried to give my first time offending wife a, a driving felony. What'd you oh do? Oh my god. I, 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 Take a breath. I had a skin graft, um, so I couldn't drive my motorcycle, so Michael so very kindly lended me his car. And I was All driving right. it up north, you know, jamming to, to some dragon force. And I pulled over for some ice cream, and then before you know it, your grandson is fucking throwing me in cuffs. For what? Well, first he said for reckless evading, and I just started crying, <coughs> and, um... I'm gonna be honest with you, Crane. I feel like all of my lawyer education just fucking died in that moment. Yeah, and I. You don't represent yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I asked for a lawyer, but um, I didn't remember my most important rule, which is shut the fuck up. On oh, shut the fuck yeah. up Friday, no less. So wait, why did you? Why did he try to give you a felony? I don't get it. Um. Uh, 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 <clears throat> apparently, <laughs> uh, he couldn't catch up to me. The fuck were you driving a rocket? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what kind of car it is. What kind of car do you have, Michael? It's a gauntlet. Yeah. It's a, it's a spaceship, yeah. is what it is. Yeah, I almost had that. It does go once. pretty fast, yeah. I was in the. Uh, back five years ago, I seized an S car called a Neo uh, from Ooh. Francis J. Francer in exchange Ooh. for like an $8 million plea deal. Uh, <laughs> and one time I was driving eastbound on uh, Vespucci, like past MRP. Vespucci? Uh -oh. I just full sent that bitch all the way from like uh, the apartments on Alta, and uh, I blew past a uh, bison, oh. going, like one forty, one fifty, and then I got like maybe you know a little bit in front of him, and he wrecked behind me, and I realized he was behind me, and I just pulled over. I was like, I'm not getting a fucking evasion charge. It, so yeah, the lesson is pull over. Oh my god, wait, is that? <laughs> Did you get a charge for that? I feel like you told the story before. Oh, about no, that, like the one, I, the one they tried to charge me was a uh, croc. Oh, okay, you know uh, what I was talking about. The one with the yeah, the bench trial. Mm -hmm. Croc tried to give That's me uh, reckless evading time. because I was driving with him, or so I thought, and he thought he was chasing me. But that was a whole other story. Yeah, that's right. I that that that's when I was recalling. Did I beat his ass in bench trial and got misdemeanors? You, oh, yeah. you did Dumb. you get misdemeanors? Um, I got a diversion <laughs> program for a first time offender. Wait, you didn't get an actual charge? Um, I don't see any charges on my MDT profile still. <clears throat> I'm just gonna say I had Sebastian Birch as my lawyer, Where's and this? um, I, I really should not have done that. Uh, uh, a robbery of a healthcare professional. Um, Sebastian uh... is a little washed. Oh yeah, my dumb shit uh, grandson didn't press process. You, he gave you negligent driving and serious speeding. You gonna press it for him, Crane? Fuck Please. no. Yeah, thank you. God. Nice. The system works. Uh, uh, ain't my job. My job was for 18 years. I'm past that shit. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, if I want to send a pardon your way, how would I go about that? Um. Hey, what did you get convicted of? Oh, I didn't. It's, it's somebody else. What did he get convicted of? They, oh, you, they, oh, sorry. You mean submit it to him? Yes, it's somebody I that you were pardoning him. I was like, no, 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 no. It's, it's uh, somebody had a hearing today that went uh, against them, but it's the dumbest shit. And what pretty much it? every, it was, what, what the fuck was it again? What's the name? It's the Dahlia one. You probably heard about it. What happened? Oh, uh, she told me about this. Yeah, so she got. Let me check. Right, her I fucking. Think Hi. Alia Faye? Yeah, that's the one. Accomplice yeah. or reckless evading? Yeah, that's uh, how? Well, that's not a thing. Uh, yeah, how is that a thing? Yeah. That, that, is, that is what she tried <laughs> to get removed, but they refused. It's a thing in her criminal history, I'll tell you that much, Green. What, what incident? Uh, I don't I don't have that info. But I don't have that either. N Dakota would. Uh, okay. Let's find Give out. Sec, I have it. Let's find out who the cop is so we can send him for some retraining. It's uh, <laughs> 2444. Four, four I incident. found it. Who's the cop? Who is he? Uh, what? Is that right? What? 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 What, what and some that... other cop? Uh, Chris. Uh, he's er, shift sh one, right? Yeah, shift three into one. But yeah. Ooh, shift w one. -T -T. We love shift one yeah, here. Uh, <laughs> so I, I will direct everyone for an educational moment. 
to open their MDT and mm -hmm. now proceed to the charge labeled uh, resisting arrest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And note where it says uh, or a passenger in a vehicle. Or as a passenger in a vehicle. Yep. Okay. How long ago was this? It is a while ago because she had it on a docket and they only just had the hearing today. And then and it wait, was, what happened in the hearing? It was uh denied anything like she said that the charges was correct and who uh who's the what? judge fuck that'd be on the docket i but yeah, i'm gonna start naming female judges uh, angel <clears throat> no uh, heart gatsby. Gatsby. gatsby yeah mm -hmm. gatsby. It was gatsby okay yeah. i'll talk to her i don't think that it's honestly much is new going to uh, go anywhere because uh that's not anything we've ever charged accomplice direct was evading I was, I was just going to ask probably that. just be a DOJ discussion. Nice. Yeah, okay. Good. And right. that, summarily that granted appeal as soon as it gets filed. All right. Sounds good. In that case, then, I, that was about it. Yeah. Accomplice to reckless evading. I'm pretty sure my first week, seven years ago, I was told it's not it. a thing. <laughs> Same, Charges. actually. I'm just going to remove it. I was about to say, can we just remove it since it's not a thing? You might as well uh, do that for re resisting while you're in there, Crane. Evading has accomplice, no, has accessory, no. Here we go. Nice, we love to Easy. see that one actually. Now it's not <laughs> nice. even possible. Lovely, <laughs> we actually love to see that one. Would I make it a thing then? Because, uh, even if you were going to charge accomplice to reckless evading for let's say a scenario where. I were to uh, give my car to someone in front of the police willingly, mm -hmm. and I wasn't held up or anything, and the cops wanted to charge me as accomplice because I was there, I knew it was happening, and I enabled the person to recklessly evade, you still would just charge felony obstruction. Mm -hmm. So, it doesn't matter. Michael, was she... Um... I don't know too much. Was she in the car? Is that why she got accomplice reckless evading? She like, was. Cars they were fleeing, but then that's just resisting arrest. That's not. Yeah, and also I think from there, like, from what they said, is like when she got out of the car, even though she was, he got shot multiple times, was bleeding out in the car. It was. Wait, what? She got <laughs> shot. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a big thing. Did they have guns? Okay. Uh, it wasn't the cops that shot her. Gilby. It was a big oh. incident. She got. Uh, so you got guy Dietrich in like the smunch in the like some crossfire between... I don't want to silence my phone. You Click don't the bell. It's take Wait, this no, out. it's been working. Uh, it's been yeah, my, my oh, yeah. Silence. it started yeah. working like yesterday, two days ago. All right, oh, genuinely yeah. surprised. It's the best icon. news I've ever heard. All right. right, I'm so Thank excited. But no, yeah, I actually got really excited too. Okay, well, I will. Uh, Michael, can you uh, email me the you know what? I'll find it. I'm sure it was on the doctor recently. Never mind. I don't. I'll just talk to the judge. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. That's uh. That's our uh sewer system kind of collapsing slowly. So every time we hear an explosion, Ooh. that's probably from down there. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. That scares me. Ah, it's gonna be the sewers. Yeah. I don't want shit on the street. That's nasty. Yeah. Oh, well, you, you know people have septic tanks, right? <laughs> Not every empty them. We, 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 people... we have one, though. <laughs> we have one. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right. Yeah, let's get uh, started. Uh, uh, this is like meeting seven or some shit? Question mark? Like seven or yep. eight, yeah. Seven. Uh, does yeah. anyone have anything they'd like to present? I know yes. Mike, Michael has some shit, but let's, uh, let's get Nakota's stuff first. I have quick ones. Uh, City Council document 3462. Uh, I did show Cantor this, and she was obviously she's not here, so she can't vote on it. However, Green's gonna have some thoughts uh, on this one. Basically, it boys. is uh, no suing for welfare aid. So, if a bystander or a citizen sees someone who's injured, uh, they are not hesitant to try to help that individual uh, for fear. Good Samaritan law. Literally, yes. Uh, I think the only thing that needs to be added in here that, that I think would be good is uh, they, 
basically if like cops or ems are, are on scene then this this doesn't apply right like they, they only yeah. get the, this protection if there's no government emergency services on scene currently okay i think that's great right. i would agree yeah yeah if they are on scene uh no they don't they don't get to involve themselves yeah no i don't want them pushing the ems out of the way to yes. divvy up yeah, their yeah, own yeah. medical does this push talk equals? That's crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, I have no problem with that being added. Does anyone else uh, think anything needs to be added in there? Uh, Looks good to me. Arrow, mouse button remind? Rebind? I mean, it sounds good so, to me. I, is but this, is this, is, there's no situation? No, so, what happens what? if someone... If, what happens if someone... Also, what happens if one of the clowns grabs somebody off the street and says they're intentionally also, giving them medical aid? Also, I talked to Nathan last night, yeah. and we lowered his mic volume. Like Sounds good, right? Chicken down their throat, and the person gets strangled and dies. Like, should <laughs> Should we throw the uh, the all encompassing reasonable some Sounds kind the same. of statement with reasonable? Sounds the same, but not as loud, guys. I mean, I, even that I, is question. honestly, I kind of feel like uh, it's probably just if it ever comes up, it should be heard in court. Isn't this like also opening Pandora's box in, so, in terms of self-transport? Yes, it also. Yeah, I was gonna say reckless endangerment and whatnot. Charging too. reckless endangerment because they yeah. can just say, "Well, it's already been declared not. You can't be liable for this." I mean, you, you could just add something in there about transporting, but if the concern is, uh, let's say, uh, non-traditional okay. medical care, yeah, thanks for yeah, that's a... I, I honestly, I think this should just be something that we handle when it comes up in a civil suit, and we can set a precedent there that is limited because the reason why precedent sometimes works better than written law is because you could set a precedent and say this is not extending to every single case but in this case under these circumstances specifically i got i don't think this person should be held out. but it still gives us the window it does sound so better cleaner on the high end does something yep. like my you know clown with the rubber chicken example then we can say well this is clearly beyond the previous ruling and thus, we are now narrowing that ruling to say that this is liable. And that's where I think maybe a uh, court precedent would work better than written law in something like this case. But that's my, that's just my opinion. Yeah, like, that's I, just like my opinion, man. I, I I get wanting to you know ease people's minds about helping others, uh, especially like police officers. But I mean, EMS can provide medical like training for you know officers we we used to do it back in the day you left them on the roof last day after the mic uh, check you know kind yeah, of um, fucked up. classes for the pd just to give them like what to do until we get there kind of situations but i mean just any any person on the street you, you can't really trust people have already shown that they don't have common sense uh you know and they'll be like here let me just pour some moonshine down somebody's throat you know and maybe that'll help and you know well let, let me ask this, because Malton, Nakoda, even Siobhan, myself, you, uh, Miss Treasure, we all enjoy a certain amount of benefit of the doubt from being, you know, government workers. And you got the zombie acts? Civilians, yeah. So most people are not going to leap to sue us over something like that. <clears throat> what do you What do you think, Max and uh, Mr. Deputy? You guys are probably the most likely to actually be targeted by something like this. What I, what I want to know, um, I'm just curious, where did, what... What inspired you to write this, Nakoda? Uh, I think we we're just having a discussion with PD, and it was this was suggesting. Um, I think that there are some days, and I don't know if the treasurer can speak to this a little bit as well. There are some days where EMS are low on numbers, mm -hmm. and there are instances where PD is stretched thin and is at a lot of scenes. And I think yeah, um, PD has general benefit of the doubt, right? I, no, no, no. I agree. I mean, it, I'll, I'll be honest. If you want to help with VA, I got the, you. Uh, I think we're going to do barbarian assault is, this, this Sunday. If you guys want to problem help. that doesn't exist in the current moment. However, it would be better to tackle this legis or uh, excuse me, judicially during a civil case. I'm not opposed to that argument. Mm -hmm. um, I was just trying to, I don't know, uh, I incentivize if... people to, to help one another, I guess, and not be held back by. I... Uh, potential lawsuit mm -hmm. i guess would be I, the way to articulate i don't think people are i think so since what well, over the last three months i've had one incident where one person talked to me about this where they they were concerned because there was an officer that was actually threatening them because they 
picked up their own friend and dropped them off at the hospital. And that officer right. was going off about, well, you just... What is it again? What charge would that be? Reckless, Reckless endangerment. endangerment. That's the one. Yeah. And they were, they were genuinely concerned about it. Because they were trying to save their friend. And I think EMS wasn't responding. So... It, it happens, but I, it, it's super rare. I feel like that would have, you know, taken that to court yeah. would probably be better. It, but to level my attack, It's a very boys. rare thing, and I feel like if we do this, there's also no kind of opening Pandora's box in, so, in terms of, like, people just self-transporting because... Yeah. What is anyone going to do about it? And if if it's a concern for PD, um, we can reach out to uh, EMS Command, and I'm sure that they would be more than happy to do uh, some first aid classes uh, again. Beer! Maybe in, in in lieu of like a, a shift meeting, you know, like we, we used to like once a month or once every couple of months, we would do something like that. And we would all go out there and just show them some basics. Bro, I'm going to be real. I'm about to keep it a stack. Keep it a stack, please. I, I self-transport whenever I can. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, look, I think personally, uh, it is much better to leave this one open because much yeah. like self-transporting and reckless endangerment, uh, it almost <laughs> never gets charged, and it almost skipping never skipping RP. Good one, admin. Uh, okay, and, bro. There's only and I think that if it's and to when help it out the EMS because there's always people getting knocked out. And I think shit. I've heard maybe one or two of those cases in like eight years. Or nine years. Mm, exactly. Okay. I had a Understood. case recently on on it, and uh, reckless endangerment wasn't upheld because it was. You know what I mean? The facts of the case uh, were hired, and it was determined to not be reckless endangerment. Like. You know what I mean? Like, judges know how to do their jobs on interpreting it. Like, what's going on and whether yeah, or not think, somebody was doing something one. malicious. Okay, understood. No problem. Uh, what about the next one? A uh, robbery of a healthcare professional. Again, I uh, I didn't put any time and fine on this because I wanted to bring it up for discussion, but we have had uh, several instances recently where EMS are being requested to a location, they show up to said location, and then someone pops out of a bush and robs them for their medical equipment. <laughs> wow. What, uh, what medical equipment <laughs> specifically? Like, is it... Tourniquets, oh my God. bandages, uh, just tweezers. Just everything, basically. Yes, yes. Mm. Um, <laughs> what's, the, what's happening with all this? Is this like a frequent thing? It's happening. A, it, it has started recently, happening within yes. the last two weeks, very frequently. What are they targeting? Uh, EMS. Their medical supplies. Medical, yeah. Government medical supplies is the best way to phrase it. Yeah. Well, are they like back alley just doctor they're shit. like because uh, the, those supplies are stronger or something? I think uh, if you are a civilian, as far as I'm aware, the only thing you can purchase is bandages from the uh, doctor at the front of the hospital. That's correct. So if you rob an EMS, you have access to tourniquets, tourniquets IFAX, tweezers. Uh, there you go. Tweezers help remove bullets. Uh, I feel like everyone should have access to that stuff, but that's besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, what what is the what would the charge be if it wasn't this one? It would be like aggravated, aggravated petty, petty robbery. robbery. Yeah. And that was my question while you uh, you were talking with uh, Simone and, and Siobhan, Max, is uh, is this to the level where we want it to be more than aggravated petty robbery, but less than the, the LEO one? Or is, is it just another fuck it, wrap it in with the LEO type thing if it's getting that bad? Uh, we're not wrapping it with the LEO. Not fair the enough. The majority of the LEO is meant to target guns. Uh, yeah. Which, um, you know, I think we hit the mark with the fine, but now that the rate of those robberies has uh, dropped off from what I've seen, we, you know, I was going to bring up, we could even consider the uh, the time dropping a bit. Yeah, oh, I was going to suggest yeah. that too. Yeah. I agree. I was actually going to suggest so, that as well. Uh, you know, like, I think um, since we're talking minutes and hours here, thank you, Max. It's <laughs> actually easier for me to think about this. Uh, I think probably uh Right now it's at 24 hours. We probably make it like eight or something. I think it's probably more reasonable. Anyone disagree? Question mark. Uh, I would say if we're gonna change it, half it, and then bring it down further if it continues to stay low. I would be fine with that, but also biased over here. I feel like half, halving it would be fine, and if people still complain, then we can take a look again. 
Yeah. Uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we third the robbery and half the gun? All right. Sure. Okay. That that fair? Because I think the yeah. robbery is definitely less of the concern for me, other than the ultimate possession. Yeah. Because you could rob a cop and take like a spike strip, and I looked at that hypothetical this morning, and you would only get fined like possession of government equipment, which is like twenty five hundred dollars in like fifty months. So you know the robbery itself isn't necessarily the big trigger for the deterrent, it's the gun, right? Law room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good compromise. All right, let me do some math on what the minutes will be and then I'll... These, uh, these ambush calls, Nakoda, is it like 911 anonymous? Like, hey, come to the end of this this deserted dirt road type shit? Like, uh, They're getting 911 calls. That's how they're arriving here. because I'm in luck for you. Getting, uh, ambushed. How many times does this happen? Uh, in the last two weeks, off the top of my head, I know there's been seven different incidents. I guess what I'm getting at is like, you, I mean, there's there's names tied to this, right? Like, there are people are 911. If they anonymously, anonymous 911. Anonymous 911s, yeah. Which they did. Trust me, if I knew who was doing those, I'd be happy. Or, or yeah. did they stop? I can't uh, I don't know about the pain. for your thoughts, it's they, five subs, dude. When they're anonymously 911 the anonymous... they're putting a location in the. In the yeah. uh, 911. Yeah, for a while they're the anonymous. Uh, what up, femboy meow? Being, so we meow. had to get locations from them. Does them stealing this not fall under the category of government equipment? Issued equipment? I know IFAX are listed, but I don't know if the other stuff is. It, uh,. I mean, if it's only available, well, that'd be the thing is I, I don't, Nakota, you would know, Tur well, let's just use tourniquets, for example. Are they, do they have any kind of government markings on them or are they serialized uh, or yes. anything like that? Um, yeah, all their stuff is. We gotta start charging this to cops on Lemmy for motor Splints, pool maybe stuff. Not. Splints and tweezers, maybe not, but uh, the rest of it is, does have our serial numbers. Hoggers. I can't read We're this. All as we check them out. But yeah, I can. Did you say the tweezers do now, Etta? No, not not the tweezers. Okay. What's the frequent? How many in the past couple weeks, Nakoda? Seven. Oh wow. So one one every other day, basically. Yeah, a couple of days ago we responded to one where the person was uh, dude. knocked out unconscious and then robbed. Hoggers. Arson's a felony, huh? Makes sense. Do possession of a uh, government equipment does that stack, or is it just a single charge if you have any any amount on you? Cultivation of marijuana. the way we've been it's using. Just a blanket yeah, it's been any amount, barring a firearm, obviously. Yeah, the only yeah. one we do independent on is the weapons attachments, because you know. Yeah. The more you got, the more. The time. felony impersonation yeah, of a clergy. Uh, um, let's see uh, here. Uh, doesn't uh, no matter for this. Sorry, what was the true? What was the, uh... So what are the items that we're concerned about? Can you can you give me? Let, let me hold on. Let me stop myself. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> can someone provide me a full list of the items under consideration for legislation? Because I have no problem with just making sure that they're added to the uh, government issued equipment charge, and then also, uh, you know, I think we can. Stipulate the uh, the normal Remove bicycle patrol to piss off protesting fire. cops. Oh, we're gonna talk about the bicycle patrol guys. Don't worry. Mm, I feel like splints and what tweezers. Yeah. Obviously, they. I don't think they should be publicly available, but I don't think they should be government equipment. Either. Halo, thanks for subbing. Scrimshaw, thanks for so what does, subs, uh, dude. what does EMS roll around with? I love you. Uh, my normal loadout is bandages, tourniquets, IFAX, splints. Uh, I do carry tweezers, but we don't use them often. That's mainly for doctors. Um, only in like Essence Del Rey. Uh, what a name! Extreme circumstances. Do mm -hmm. we mess with those? And in um, a general sense, sorry, if you're buying something from the hospital in this case, and mm -hmm. the hospital is tracking it via you know your serial number, should you think if we check police incidents and Eclipse Tag would still be on it from last well, night? If splints are unmarked, I guess. That's what I'm saying. And so, yeah. like, I mean, that, that's, in just a general sense, I, I think if if the hospital feels that it's worthwhile to track these things for whatever reason, then mm -hmm. that that's what we should consider government equipment, and you could extend that to the the PD armory and, and whatnot. 
That's what I'll have to, because I know that they've changed it over time. Like they they were adding the serial numbers to more and more equipment as that was, time That's went not on, Mullen's so, mic. It's like the weird. Um, I'll have the, to go and. It check. does that for everyone um, sometimes. But I know server. for sure that it's luck for you. Thanks for tourniquets. I think the flashlights as well now have the serial numbers on them. Oh flashlights yeah. Are already in equipment. No, no, I know. I'm just thinking out loud about the stuff that they were saying are serialized. Mm -hmm. This is a RuneScape type uh, angle, boys. Justice, I, I also, uh, in the past, I think I emailed you a full list of what the EMS has in their armory when we updated the okay. government equipment charge. All right. Uh, so what? Uh, anybody got like any uh, directive type thoughts? Like, do you really push in one direction? Because I'm kind of open to just do whatever do y'all think. I, mm, I, I I hate complicating the penal code with no charges. Uh, that that that's just me though. I I think aggravated petty robbery is 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 a decent charge. I mean we're we're reducing the the LEO one all, already to kind of bring it closer to that. I, uh, I that uh, sorry, Malton, you just remind me. I'm just gonna cut you off real quick. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Because I I don't want to forget this, and I will forget. Uh. Since we decreased the uh the robbery and the such of a government employee uh do you guys think zombie that, axe uh, yup that's too much for robbing like a doctor ems how much which one Ro so, is it the robbery of the is it, is it government is it law enforcement or government law, law enforcement. enforcement enforcement officer yeah uh -oh. Are, are you just asking? Yeah, I guess that it, makes sense. Right. I don't want I don't want the mayor getting robbed for ten dollars and somebody gets charged ten grand and fucking eight hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh to to act as counterpoint to Malton, uh, I think that the EMS deserve a certain level of increased protection uh, mm -hmm. and the ability to kind of retaliate in the only way that they can legally against people who are trying to Log. gang rob them. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, which is why I, I, my initial thought was this, because I know obviously the law enforcement charge is what it is because of the weapons that we carry on us. Has anyone um, been caught for doing this? Definitely not. For robbing EMS? Of course yeah. not. <laughs> uh, not that I am aware of, no, because it's more of a... Because Eclipse weren't saying, out there, uh, dog. They knock the EMS out unconscious. Uh, they steal their shit after they've lured them out into a secluded location. And then by the time we, like uh, the one that we responded to the other day was in Sandy. Yeah. Um. So by the time we get there, they are long gone. Okay. Are, are the EMS uh, at least starting to trying to take like basic precautions? Like, uh, I, I, I don't know if this is in a train, but if I'm getting a anonymous help me uh, in, in the middle of the wilderness, I'm probably not going to respond to that without backup right i mean we've always <laughs> instructed people to you know be cautious you know don't get out of your ambulance and wander around alone if you're you know you don't see somebody right away but sometimes some people just uh, i don't know they think they don't they get complacent that's the word um and they don't think anything's gonna happen uh we have been instructed to start doubling up uh, that was an announcement that was made recently um, because of all of this that's happening. So, hey, I, I, yeah, uh, but, but even even if you even, even even if you double up though, it, like they you could still get robbed. Yes. Well, that, yeah, that, that's I not mean, I, that's not what I'm trying to say. Is the like what happens to the EMS who tries to like knock out a guy who like is robbing their partner? You know, they, don't they get in trouble for that? Hey, I got a question. What? Uh, I don't. Isn't the deterrent the ego act? Well, if they're this not is catching them, violence with aggravated petty robbery, right? They're not if catching, they're not catching the them. People. Why is making a new they, charge matter? Yeah, they're anyway? not catching those charges doesn't matter either. But okay, personally, I, hell, if I was a creative prosecutor, I'd say uh, this is a act of felonious violence, aka aggravated petty robbery. And uh, you know, if you catch someone doing it in a pattern, hell, that's that's pretty damn good. So, yeah, I will, I need to speak to our command to see if there's anything else that, you know, they're doing. Um, and I don't know. It's hard to teach people common sense, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously voting this in, it, it would be a bit of a morale boost. It, it will, will show that we, like, care about the EMS. It, 
Why keep splints but I, behind I just EMS? Don't think it solves the problem. Basically, adding uh, another charge just to give purpose yeah, to the whitelist. Then the my, job, my problem yeah. is that in order to make it truly be a deterrent and truly scare people, I think I think that's the I don't actually like know. we did with the PD gun law. But mm. I can't justify something that drastic for what amounts to having somebody fix their leg in a bathtub. Uh, Nakota, did Cantor give her thoughts on this one? Uh, when when you show zombie acts up close, was this not written up when uh, this was not written up at that time when I talked to her. But if you okay. would like, uh, I know obviously the treasure yeah, I mean, looks kind of basic. part of EMS, right? I can, uh, confer with others. I do know that some of them are looking for a charge such as this, but if uh, I mean, I guess the issue is if they're if people are going to do this, lure them out into the, into the open or lure them out into a secluded area and like hit and dip, it's going to be real hard to press them with ego. Um, yeah, with any charge, honestly. I do get the the logic then by saying, well, what's another charge going to do? But uh, I think maybe the existence of the no charge would helm? at least help well, I'm wearing in the a black uh, small way as a potential deterrent. Uh, if if that's not the case, I'd be happy to revisit it. Or if you'd prefer, I speak to EMS and then we go forward with this. I'm. I think I think that uh, I think the most benefit we're gonna get out of passing something is maybe a slight like they care about us morale boost recognition type deal. Mm. Uh, well, uh, to, I, to I follow really up, don't know what's gonna happen. To follow up on that, I mean, at, at a, how many EMS are typically on duty at a time? <laughs> Um, it depends. During shift two uh, is when we have the most, um, and it can be anywhere from hell. Uh, on a good day, I think I've seen like fifteen of us. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Kiki and Veronica did a huge hiring wave, um, and we've got a lot of people. And I know that they've been doing interviews again, uh, bringing people in. So um, you know, we we pretty consistently have. Uh, probably around six to eight, uh, you know, during each shift. Um, a, a third shift, of course, is where we struggle, um, always has been. But uh, we, even then we get, I don't know, four four to six on a good day. So. Um, yeah, I'm cool with revisiting then. <laughs> uh, that said, I if this went to a vote, I would definitely vote this through. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, like I get, I get the reasoning. I, I, I do, and as EMS, I do thank you, um, for all of that. But uh, if they're not getting caught, there's really nothing that. I mean, I would rather just see the ego act slap them in the face, honestly. Yeah, but the ego act would be three times that they get caught, which is in itself hard. Yeah. At, at the very least, I do think that, uh, you know, if Crane, if, if you're already doing this, then fair enough. But I do think anything do serialized the from class? the hospital or the, the an armory should essentially be classified as government equipment in a general sense, whatever that may be. Uh, I think that it uh, sometimes is the right answer for us to hear from a problem from a council member, discuss that problem, uh, and then uh, encourage and facilitate conversations with people we think could address that problem better than us. I don't I think this problem is solved by us, to be quite honest. I just don't. I think that Max's idea of going back to the hospital and having some frank conversations about what can be done with like training or doubling up or any idea that might work? It wasn't my idea. Uh, I think is infinitely more productive. <laughs> we'll than take credit us though. Trying to legislate something that we're not even catching people for in the first place. Yeah, I can talk to our command and see if uh, there's if they're taking steps. Because um, I mean, honestly, at this point, I mean, with as often as it's happening, they should just be instructed not even to leave their ambulances if they don't see anybody needing help right away. I'm just gonna keep it real. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. I don't want to hold up too much on this one, but if that's the consensus, that's but totally if fine. it continues to be a problem, then we can always just readdress it. Okay, understood. Um, 
so zero people have been caught doing this. Correct. Um, Ego Act requires three for what, a hut, right? Yeah, yeah, they're both, so it's, it's three and five. They both five. will be... Is it three within 30, then? It's yeah. within 30, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, quit, are you are you signed in as a cop, Nakoda? Yeah, I am. Can you tell me how many people were arrested in the last eight hours? I mean, arrested, too. Not No traffic citations. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck he must be counting so high with this pause <laughs> just asked to count yeah you gotta do like the time conversion and shit you know i told that archie guy like a month ago to stop calling it the council the civilian the oversight mm -hmm. council so yes. did I. But so he, did I. he's he Dave. loves he loves calling it cock and because he's a juvenile <laughs> and he, he just refuses and people are getting it confused i'm like it's too confusing please I, bro i told him straight up i was like there's no way it's getting renamed <laughs> like when yeah when it was like Oh my god, during that first week when he would not shut the fuck up about it! <laughs> he is very committed to running for it. Y you know who he told me <laughs> what Lord of the Rings character it? was? He told me he was Gollum, so I feel like he is not a... I'm not a trustworthy person. Uh, like, it looks like eight, Gollum? Max. Eight? Like, you, Sorry. You, you nice. the ring of power? On an hour? You want to rename good. it already? No, listen it. Just... Banana Pegasus, thanks for subbing. Uh, okay. Um, so revisit, I guess, slash okay. hope the ego act kicks in. I, like I said, um, I'll, I'll talk to command and see if they're doing anything. That isn't uh, bad. And That's then good. if this continues, then, you know, I can, I can always reach out to y'all and say that, you know, we've got to do something. Um, okay. Next. Uh, Malton, you have anything to present? Uh... I'll, I'll be honest, Mur I, I don't have anything specific, I'm, but I, I will throw it out here for consideration. Murphy Braun sent me basically an additive um, thing from last week's legislation. He, he was pitching a charge about like uh, possession of, of classified information. Uh, yeah, I think hey, it's interesting. I, I was bringing that up. Uh, my okay, well, I, I, well I, yeah, he sent it to a lot of people, okay? Yeah, he, emails right. it. he sent it to a lot of people. Okay, uh, all right, all right. I mean, if we want to discuss it, we sent it to you. <laughs> He sent it to yeah. three people, yeah. yeah. I uh, I, I'm on the fence about it. I, I don't know if that's ever going to come. I don't even know how you would enforce that other than uh, it falling into your fucking lap. Uh, same same thing with the EMS thing we just talked about. It, it's another charge in, in the penal code. So if it, really, if, if I'll, I'm welcome to hear opinions on it, but I'm, I'm real on the fence about possession of classified information or whatever it ends up being called. I mean, I'll just say this right now. So when Jesse Adler kidnapped us, uh, Max and myself, and one of the things that they did was steal our phones. And she definitely looked through my texts, which probably included privileged information, which, you know, mm -hmm. really stresses me out personally. And I've, I, I'm a little bit biased because I have a personal experience with this where, like, I kind of wish there had been a harsher punishment for, for doing that. But, but it is, like you said, Lance, it's like... Uh, how, 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 unless you fall into it, right? Like, how are you gonna? I mean, the, the other thing, as far as like harsher punishment, I, I guess this is a uh, this was a, a general issue that came up with. Obviously, you know, Javon, I'm not specifically targeting you with this, but okay. it could a harsher punishment be a civil court for you know for punitive mm -hmm. damages to to punish them monetarily at least, as opposed to a uh, you know criminal the, charge or extra. The damage time. is already done with privilege information on that point, and I feel like deterrence is better as a as a more helpful factor. Uh, true. True, big true. Like yeah, if, if we're I going to civil, right, right. If we're going to civil, it's already the, yeah, the damage, the privilege. It. You can't unsee the privilege information. Damage is already done. I, I think deterrence is more beneficial, so that people know that their privilege information is kept safe. I think the confidential. 
I, th I think I could agree with that, but then this charge would have to be a felony because people aren't going to give a fuck about a misdemeanor. I True. Agree, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I, if we're going with the deterrence argument, I, I could I could see the logic in that, but yeah, my only thing, it'd have to be a felony to disqualify people from, uh, you know, the, the privileges that, that True. comes the, with. The next thing, um, this, this law oh, seems potentially very, or this charge seems potentially very difficult to to write. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would like to defer to the resident expert, Chief Justice Alan Crane, for his thoughts on this matter. <clears throat> Sorry, I was combating ignorance on Twatter. Uh, oh. I'm going to need a refresh real quick. Possession of classified information. How would you oh, even word thing. that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Uh, th that was my issue with it when I considered it at first because I was trying to hypothesize like if I was a cop uh, what would classify and how would I articulate it to a judge and say this is government information and, and is it a per se charge where the person doesn't Angus need to Oblong. know it's government information or do they need to know right because what happens if you just like pocket Slayer wipe level? a lawyer and you take their client notes does that 68. mean that you're guilty of the charge or do you have to like you know, uh, attack a cop and steal their investigation report book. So I, I'm not really sure. Uh... Well, uh, I'll say quick an example I gave was was like when Jesse Adler kidnapped me and went through my phone and definitely looked at privilege information. Kind of, kind of fucked up, and you know the damage is already done once the privilege information has been seen. You know what I mean? Like, City council member? <laughs> civil court isn't a good redress. Let me see if he provided a definition here. It is unlawful to possess information protected under legal or medical privilege and confidentiality, which includes mobile phones, SIM cards, notebooks. Does anyone have the minion ASCII? Does not include proprietary business information. So ba basically, the the way Mer Braun pitched it in the email to me, at least, is uh, it, it, it's like any other possession charge. You're you're possessing something with with the information. My in man, it. It doesn't verbal matter if you actually read it or not. It doesn't matter if you knew it it was or not. That it'd be privileged. The, the other issue I, I have with the charge, just in terms of defining it, is uh, then cops would have to look at the privileged information to yeah, know that it's privileged. That. And that that's the other thing. Uh, that's why I said like yeah. I, I'm I, I'm okay with I'm okay with the charge uh, <laughs> in, in like a, a a vacuum, especially if it's a felony. I I just have no fucking idea how it's going to be worded or enforced. <laughs> I mean, this Seems goes back. Like it to, might be a little tricky. This this goes back to you, Siobhan, because it, it, are you okay with cops? investigating the privilege information to determine if it's privileged uh you know to then to push mm. that charge right oh fuck that's a good point <sighs> it's kind of a catch-22 damn isn't it? that that's the yeah. achilles heel isn't it well that's what i'm saying is like, I, <laughs> yeah I, I, unless you do make it per se and say anything if you if you have something belonging to a government employee you know congratulations you're guilty but i don't think that's a good route to go with this law <laughs> um yeah fuck fuck that is such a catch-22 because i wouldn't want them to i would want uh -huh. i would want a judge right to probably oh fuck <laughs> i have to think on that one more i have to think on that i i guess in that sense are we okay then with tabling this so everyone could chew on it uh Bring it up. Yeah. Yeah, next week under with because Cantor may have some input here since it deals with medical I stuff think that also. Would also be relevant. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Let's let's table out a week. Okay. Can I ask ask one question? What, that uh, I get clarity from other people at least on yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. Please. Is the so if someone was going to be charged with it, uh, Siobhan, would they? Is there no onus to prove that they knew the information was privileged, or is it just? It was. This is definitely an it everyone is. but me discussion. Um, <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I don't want to speak. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to give my my example. Yeah. Jesse Adler was literally texting me screenshots of going through my texts. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I had proof in the pudding of her going through my shit. 
Uh, so I, I think my so I so I do understand, but my question is more like, did she know what she was looking at was privileged information? I actually say it in text. I actually say out? in no, she she had to know because I actually say in my text just for like to make it easier if anything was ever subpoenaed so the judges could look through it easier. I always okay. say before privilege information, the following text is protected by attorney client privilege. So does there's, everyone there's, do that though? Because I know I don't, I don't know. I think that should you. be a best practice. That's probably a best practice that DOJ okay. should Yeah. All right. I'm not. Lance, yeah, can you I'm put not that in the to DOJ I'm document somewhere? Curious, honestly. Uh, put what in there? Sorry. Something about best practices of like if you're going to text privilege information. Like what case he was the zombie ex 514? No. The following text is a protected by attorney client privilege sort of thing. Yeah, I'm sure I could throw I think that's that just a somewhere. good best practice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, in the meantime, I threw up a, a city council document. Uh, I cannot add a tag if Craner and Dakota can do that. Uh, it's just, just called criminal. Oh, sorry. Wait, it's a DOJ doc. Now it's a city council doc. Uh, criminal possession of privilege information. If people want to spitball on there throughout the week, fair enough. Catbox works too. Ooh. Gyazo type beat. Wait, what, uh, what am I looking at? Uh, so in the uh, three, four, seven, six, this is how this conversation started is braun essentially sent uh, a, a request to i believe it was myself yeah, we're Rain, about to level and bro mm. and this is just verbatim what he said so this was like this is braun's proposal basically and if people okay. want to like throw comments on there throughout the week after thinking about talking with others etc cetera, etc cetera. file sharing pyramid scheme fishing level um 67 I think the game I, I mini game I don't like the most in RuneScape is definitely Tempo Raws. Uh, why? It's chill. Hmm. No, I think uh, I think what's it called is more chill. Um, Winter. Uh, that's, all, that's all for me this week. Uh, Cantor, cool. Philippa. Oh, wait, she's not here. Uh, Alan Crane, Chief Justice, the Venerable One. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you have Do you have anything you wish to present? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got something. Um, this was kind of interesting. Uh, what do y'all think about, uh, uh, loans. <laughs> Boo. Private, private, private loans. Okay. But but here's the thing. Ugh. Let's say Max, uh, you get a private loan from Michael, and for a hundred grand, and then you go out and uh, use that money. Wait, it's the community. Like, you know, get a car, and you're like, I'm gonna use this car to rob every bank in the city. I'm gonna pay back my loan, and then you get caught robbing every bank in the city because you're a shit driver. Again, hypothetical. Uh, and couldn't be you me. Can't pay back Michael, and you're broke because you eaten all those PD fines. If Michael then comes to me on Crane, says, "Here's my contract. It's proved. It's signed by a lawyer and all this. Uh, I want my money. How do I get Michael his money?" I uh, I threw my spitball uh, up, or I, I bumped it up to a city council doc, just so everyone could see three four seven zero. Okay. Wait, you Hello, bump, bump, help line. Bump, bump. <laughs> oh Wait, what did you bump it up from? It, it was a DOJ doc, because uh, uh, Crane has said this discussion has come up in the DOJ before, so I, I had a DOJ doc going with just spitballing ideas to start to work work all this bullshit out. Um. <sighs> oh God, my PTSD. Dude, the the arrogant the arrogance with which former loan bosses spoke to me when I was running for mayor, and they mm. were telling me about their mm. their past visit. Yeah, man, I had th ten supercars and seven houses, and I had ten billion dollars in the bank. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, because this, is that Marlo? You, hold on. Yeah, it must have been Marlo. Yeah. It was. Max, did I ever tell you about my warehouse? Loans. No. Oh god. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, so uh, before the financial collapse, when money was like, you know, just fucking everywhere, uh, I 
was watching some Glenn Beck, you know, learning the good ways. Uh, and, oh, God. Wait, he what? Was talking, he, hey, he makes some damn sense. Uh, he was <laughs> talking about how you can't trust the government, uh, which I agree with. And he said, you can't trust government because uh, the goddamn monetary standard is bullshit. It's all made up and it's not real. And the only thing you can trust is gold, right? I was like, that, that makes fucking sense, right? Gold True. standard. So mm-hmm. I fucking took all my millions of dollars. I had like uh, three point five million dollars, and I bought a warehouse for a million, and then I converted the rest of my money into gold. I remember that. <laughs> and all the gold that I ever seized from uh, people's houses when we foreclosed on them, I just threw it in a warehouse. I had like a mountain of gold. It was like two million dollars worth of gold. How would you get gold? Scrooge McDuck status. Uh, so gold believe pain. it or not. Uh, Five years ago, we actually had a gold rush. It was like fucking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was that like was crazy. crazy. Like, like you oh, know, yeah. centuries ago. It was fucking uh, like people were making thousands and thousands, thousands of dollars of gold panning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We lost Scarlet Winters to the gold pan. What? As a joke. We lost a lot of people. We lost a lot of people <laughs> to the gold pan. So <laughs> yes. There was so much gold in this city's water that people were uh, gold panning in the reclaimed water used uh, city fountains out front of city hall. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. god. What the what the fuck? Fuck? There were people, was there were people so panning bad. for gold in the south side sewers, Max. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold panning parties up in the rivers and the mountains. It was great. Oh my god, we had a court case gold panning while well, gold panning in like the little lake by Mount Gordo once. Cause, oh, yeah. Nobody could, stop go- yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody could stop gold panning. Oh, I remember people uh, started making so much money though that some people actually stopped robbing banks banks and just started robbing gold panners it was uh, wild. oh yeah, yeah gregor mcgregor did that often he, he told he literally told us in the cells once i said why are you robbing like 15 gold panners every day and he's like i make almost 200k when i rob a gold panner if i get them at the right time yeah oh my god so yeah, yeah anyway uh, point being uh you're you're dragon well, from dungeons and dragons so that's the point right yeah it was, it was and i had oh i had some crazy shit in there i had a statue there was like an onyx panther that I found in someone's warehouse next to an RPG that was like magma hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. I had a, like a mask from some kind of eyes wide shut like secret island party. I had some crazy oh shit in that god. warehouse. Anyway. Is Corner an emote? Huh. Uh, what the fuck were we talking about? Loans. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just imagining you like, a smile. Loans. Sorry, I'm four seven zero. Three, four, uh, seven, what's zero, that called? Three. Afternooning? Sundowning. <laughs> Sundowning. Sundowning. Right. Yeah, so I, I've, I've been telling you to take your notes. I know I'd get there eventually. Yeah. That's why I got you smart folks to prompt me. City 8. Yeah. So loans, uh, I don't know. My conclusion from the judges is there probably should be collateral. Uh, and we should not honor loans without collateral. Because yeah. we could we could like take everyone's uh, dollars from their bank account. We could seize uh, their vehicles and shit. But if they don't have any assets, what are, what am I supposed to do? Just print money? I ain't fucking. I, I I don't think you need a collateral. I think that's on the um, uh, the loan provider for writing a bad loan at that point. I think. So well, okay. So, but but mm-hmm. we need to make guidance that because right now. And I've been very clear in the past that the right to contract oh, fine, true parties is like a uniquely American ideal uh, mm. that should, you know, exist, you know, in eternity, right? So uh, I'm not a big fan of telling people that and then also telling them, oh, you should have known I wouldn't enforce your, your contract. I think we should give them a heads up and say, here's the parameters. Yeah, I think that, that's fair. I, I think if, if you want to keep the uh, the spirit of, you know, making whatever contract you want, send them to, z- to zero, right? But the state isn't going to cover your bad loan. The state's not going to bail you out like it did in the past. Um, so as far as the collateral, Everything and whatnot, for something? Um, I know one of the big issues that we used to run into was that people would take out the loans uh, to buy cars, which mm. would be the collateral. However, <laughs> then they would sell the car Opus before the something? loan was paid off and use that money to buy a different car yeah but we can go after them and trace that shit yeah okay because yeah that's the thing is that like when i would you know i'll tell you what that case never came in front of me because if it did we would have gone down the chain and found where the money went okay 
yeah, because, uh, yeah, I, I literally Santa? had a knife held to my throat Thank because you. I defaulted a loan because they sold their car. Oh, my God. Hmm. And I was like, all right, well, I'm defaulting your loan. So what the then fuck? They, I've they never seen I that emote. And <laughs> said Why didn't you let that. me get away with it? Yeah. There's that a calendar to MDT? I, I like to think these guidelines really? are a, a pretty fair starting point. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you, you drafted something already, yeah. I, oh, three, yeah. three, three, four. Action man, what up in England, my bro? In the city council doc. As Thank long you. as the people right. distributing them don't get themselves slums, because that was a problem. What, do you mean <laughs> by that? what up in England, my bro? Money. This is all P yeah. P two P, yeah, like pri private to private. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. just checking, yeah. just checking. But trust me, if there's anybody that's been submitting a business proposal, I had it with somebody who wanted a business proposal for a loan company, and they just wanted, you know. A ten million a small dollar state loan grant, a small of ten loan of ten million dollars. You guys would not Jesus believe Christ. the dumb pricks that have come to us expecting, like ten million buildings. Oh, trust me, I am very well aware. Oh my god, <laughs> man! It, 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 the fucked up part is like you know maybe it could have happened in the past. You know if their idea was truly mm -hmm. good. We don't have the ability to do half of what was possible before the collapse. Mm hmm. It's fucked. It, the, the, That's why I keep uh, telling people. A lot of a lot of that is uh, coming soon, by the way. Cool. Uh, it, uh, today, today I after think I shot you an email about that. Wait, did you? When? Ooh. Yeah, like earlier, where you woke up. Oh, nice. oh yeah, that is tight. Uh, will I be able to see that? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna talk to them about that. Sick. Uh, okay. After, by the way, after this council meeting, we're gonna, we're gonna do a town hall if anyone wants to uh, stick around. Yeah. Um, and we should do it in the large courtroom so I can't get shot. Good. You know that's a good, good point. idea. That's a good <laughs> idea. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, sick. Uh, it'll you know people can ask us questions and people can submit business proposals to us. It'll be sick. Okay. Um. So what, what's the uh, the final verdict on the loan guy? I, I I mean, look, I'm gonna be the first guy to admit it. Um, I'm not educated enough to make like a like a good decision on this. I will say I like Crane's idea of uh, there needing to be collateral, uh, oh, and, 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 and of course the understanding that the state will never bail these motherfuckers out. Like, well, that's why I don't think there needs to be collateral. I think we should encourage. Uh you know people to be idiots with loaning out their money too for lack of a better word you know if, if you want to loan out all your money without collateral or without guarantee that that's also your right as a citizen of this state but if you when you take a when you take a loan right when you also as a lender when you lend out funds right you're not just it's not guaranteed money back you are also taking what a risk that they don't pay that it is. back that's the risk you took on that's lending risk yeah, I, I think if you, you want to be omega risky and not have collateral and mm -hmm. as part of your terms, hey, that's uh, that that's your choice as, as a yep. citizen making this contract. Why do I feel like doctors and EMS are about to get a lot more busy? <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> Job security is always good. True. Very true. That's a great way for yeah, someone yeah, to bitch directly to management. Saying, I think the, the one guiding principle is uh, that the state you is not you billing think anyone get out. You know, the, the state <laughs> may facilitate things or, or work with, uh, or the DOJ may work with people in terms of collections. Yeah, they got a random loan chart. But if, uh, if, if someone has to go bankrupt, hey, hey you ain't you get more than that. Yep. Uh, I mean... There's plenty of people out there that, that want to do this. I've seen people and people have come to oh, me yeah. uh, about this as well, asking for my advice. It. And uh, I mean, attack 82. Again, I mean, if they understand that it is a risk that they are taking and that they will get no federal backing, uh, then. I think anyone who gives out a loan without collateral is insane. Uh, True. But on that note, I don't think that should be a legal requirement we we, we shouldn't be hand-holding people who want to uh start up loan ventures what is what's I, and I, I, I will say i think if there's any breach of contact like civil cases or whatever the, those should just be handled by the judiciary on a case-by-case -case basis absolutely why is he pushing so hard for this okay so they would go to a civil trial if someone is not getting paid back what they were uh 
that's what I put in my spitball. Yeah, that's what we, I thought. I mean, okay. Yeah, I've... collections would just go to the DOJ and a judge would set terms, uh, if any, be it lump sum, payment plans, uh, seizure of assets, etc. So, yeah, I... question. Um, I, I don't think I've heard the L word <laughs> spoken by a single person unless prompted. Like, who's been coming to you about defining this? Uh, so, I, this has been... Uh, I've been talking to one person in particular, uh, Bjorn. Uh, okay. He, he uh, has been interested in starting a loan company for a while because he's observed that it's been happening kind of under the radar, just like on the streets, like people just like signing a contract uh, mm -hmm. with each other, sometimes not even with a lawyer and kind of just... I've, I've seen it, people advertising the yellow you know, pages too. Same. how you would, yeah. right? Like on the street, uh, just assuming that your rep is going to protect you or whatever. Uh, but he is now concerned coming to me over the last several weeks. We've been having conversations. I promised him I'll bring it to the judges. I did. And now I'm bringing it to y'all because uh, I yeah, do those think games it's only fair to people. To Mo clarify, oh, most of them do. Uh, this because it's been such a contentious issue in the past. Yeah, I, I just think if people are giving out loans, they, they they need to be more understanding of lending risk. And if they're not aware of it, then they weren't uh, affluent enough of an investor to actually <laughs> take on that risk. I also think that's, yeah. what, that's, attorneys, that's what attorneys are for. Yeah, that if, is what attorneys uh, are for. You know, if they're going through the right processes, you know, if the DOJ puts out these guidelines, the attorneys will see them. And that's part of their yeah. uh, due diligence with their clients. Wait, what's the totally. alternative? Well, if they're doing like under the table shit, you know. No, no, I mean like, uh, what are we debating back and forth? It sounded like you guys were saying like a but. Uh, what was? The uh, I, well, I, I'm still going back to my whole like collateral not being required. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, a thousand percent. I, okay. I don't. I don't think we need to require it. I'm saying the only that blade's not used for a clue. I have, I've got a plug-in that tells me if it is. The value of the loan is if there is collateral. So but, you can you can take a risk and you can loan something, but you just need to know that if the person ends up broke, that the government's not going to bail you out. Which is what I, Siobhan's point is about being a savvy you know lender. I put this uh, kind of at the bottom towards the general spitball crane because I'm. Uh... I'm not sure how the DOJ or, or this council would, would feel about it, but what about seizure of assets that aren't listed as collateral? Like, uh, I, 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 I write a loan for 10K, right? Uh, the, the person defaults on it. Uh, they, they don't have enough liquid assets, but they, they own a Panto. You know, do you, do you think it's within the state's rights to seize that pano, auction it off similar to the VAF system and, and use that to if, pay back the person? My argument would be that if uh, we put in these basic guidelines and if your hypotheticals start Force labor camps that they that default. By uh, allowing the seizure. True. And, but we wouldn't need to do that uh, affirmatively with legislation. It would just be the first time that case ever came up where someone sued and said, I want to take this guy's house, even though it wasn't put up for collateral originally. Then a judge would rule on it and uh, mm. say, "What if, if there was a pandemic of people avoiding uh, loan repercussions by just mm -hmm. not having any liquid assets?" Then I assure you, the DOJ would make that. Yeah, that's a. Uh, and you said that you want to avoid finding people into the negative, right? Correct. So that is not something we're yeah. going to leave because that's something that also needs to be stressed to, to them is that you know then that's the risk part that siobhan was talking about is that if somebody takes out a loan uh you know and then is never seen or heard from again then that's just money that's gone uh, yeah well that's a whole other issue and don't yeah worry, i explained that to people i would say roughly three times a week five years ago so i'm sure i'll be there soon <laughs> oh god <laughs> that was yeah that's a whole other topic um okay. mandatory right, so prostitution for defaulters I mean, are we voting this into legislation or are we just kicking it to doj for policy discussion i guess that's my uh, first question i can publish this as a state announcement as a doj advisory that's in the public mdt and then i could refer bjorn to it and other lenders uh or you know, I, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? 
I like what you said. I actually like the idea of an advisory for people so that they're aware of like their own inherent risks that they're taking on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, anyone not like the advisory idea? No, I'm down. Seems It seems yeah. all right to me. Cool. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, make it an advisory right now. Yeah, and these guidelines are really good, Lance. Let them loan. Do you have anything uh, finish your edits that you're making? Do you have anything else I mean, to present? I'll do a quick proofread before I do it. I do a quick proofread. I, I cross out the thing that, uh, you know, the future proofing you said that the courts could handle. If uh, if you want to make any other changes, yeah. fine. But then otherwise, you're, you're just good to probably bump this to a uh, back to a DOJ doc, and then I could add it to the, uh, the DOJ master list. Uh, were we on crane presentations or Molten presentations? If oh, yeah, crane. We, we were on crane. Do you have anything yeah. else you want to present, Alan? Uh, I, I am just advising again that uh, the penal code will be always a moving goalpost, uh, and the judges and I are going to probably start having some conversations. We've already had one about a week ago uh, about an overhaul and rebalance of fines and times across the board. Because oh. some of the things we've been doing as the council uh, are disparate in approach and nature to what uh, already existed. And so mm -hmm. the DOJ may embark on kind of a uh, like a merging of the two points of view to create a more uh, understandable penal code. Uh, so just oh, advising yeah. that that is uh, something we're going to look at in the coming week. But uh, in terms of actual legislation, no, the only thing I had was the loan stuff. Eddie, you got anything you want to propose? No, not right now. Thank you. Okay, Mike. Um, yes. My man, Big I got, a, <laughs> I got a few things. So first of all... Uh, in your okay, acronyms. My, my fucking MDT. Uh, oh, do no. we care about the fucking charts for using your like failure to failure to signal? I know it's a, it's a stacking oh. charge, but do anyone ever <laughs> signal? I'm, I do. I'm, I'm, always you do. gonna stand only because it is the ultimate deterrent to people being complete shitheads uh i don't know how familiar you are but uh, there's a cop named matt rhodes mm -hmm. <laughs> several of his uh, bench trials in fact i saw one just the other day in the mdt that was doozy uh matt rhodes ticketed the same guy three times in a row 10 minutes apart each time right uh for speeding and then a lesser speeding charge and then eventually unauthorized parking because the guy finally got so mad he got out of his car and walked away and parked it and then but parked it illegally. <laughs> uh, and one of my favorite Matt Rhodes bits is where he uh, he gets somebody, he pulls them over, uh, and then they get really like sassy with him and call him a shithead dumb cop and all this shit. Right. So She's offline, he tells bitch. them they're free to go when his lights are off, he waits, and then they don't signal when merging back onto the road, so he pulls them over immediately and gives them failure mm -hmm. to signal. <laughs> And if we got rid of that charge, I wouldn't get to enjoy those bench trials, which I'm sorry, Mike, but that's almost as good as cigarettes. <laughs> that, that's fine. I, if we're going to keep it there for road specifically, I'm fine. I'm, I just wanted to double check. Yeah, he is the <laughs> only person I've ever seen give that charge. Yeah, that's, that's why I was kind of asking, because I feel like even cops are not signaling. So, you know, but if we want to keep it and for nobody, road specifically. Yeah, and nobody gets charged except for people who are just being complete shitheads. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, uh, I'll remove it. Uh, it was just uh just to bring it up. No, I agree it. with you. No one uses it. No it took away Zon's prio too. I just like it in there just to enable that. Zan, yeah. uh, Zon. Okay. Another thing was, uh, you know how we give twenty percent off for was G six employees. Yeah. Do we want to oh, do that did for? Did we agree P to do that? E, I believe so. Oh. Did for, we not? For police department. We no, no. Not, G okay, we did not publish that we were giving twenty percent off. What we agreed on was that we were going to just evaluate people as they came in. And if somebody comes in in a G6 uniform, professional, very respectful, mm -hmm. I instructed the clerks and the judges, just give them 20% off. Don't say anything about it, just do it. Okay. Because they don't, you know, Yeah. it's more so, so it's it's incentivized just to be a good, respectful person, not capitalize on a discount. Yeah, yeah like come that. in demanding shit, yeah. And I was so gonna- I'm, I'm the oh. same for PD. If PD comes respectfully well, and all We gotta that, go talk to some G6 bros and tell yeah, them that's the case. I'm, I'm down for that, yeah. All right. Okay. okay. We have Jason yeah, I was just, that was... okay with the discount for PD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not okay, Mix? No, I'm okay with it. I said, yeah. Oh, oh, you are okay. Okay, I got you. I said anybody not okay, and you said yeah, and I was like, okay. Oh. Oh, I missed that part. Um. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, uh, he asked a question in the negative, so it made it weird to answer. Yeah, it's, my bad. Don't worry about it. My it's boss. fine. It's cool. So, Thank you, Beth. Another, another <laughs> thing, I don't know if this goes specifically to, to you, Nakoda, but apparently it seems like PD is very clumsy in terms of cleaning up after people getting a license. Uh, and just cleaning up in general. Uh, I, know, I know Lovesick has been asked to get removed from PD, and he's still hired at PD. You want oh, yeah. me to fire him right now? What's he getting? Mm. What's he get? What's he uh, getting fired for? Oh, he left. Yeah, quit. He quit. He quit. Yes. Why? He, yeah, it was an incident. I can fire him right now. You want me to fire him? I he, he I believe he quit already, so he shouldn't really. Yeah, if he's not in, if he he's still in there, you can remove him if you can, Chief Justice. Otherwise, I have to wait for someone who has access oh, to the MVP on that allowed? level to start removing people. Yeah, I'm, his shit's gone. I'm doing it right now. All right, there you cool. go. But that seems to be a, a Sorry, general lads. concern. Is that they? You, I'm assuming, Crane, and correct me if I'm wrong, when you get hired at PD, you also do get a weapons license by default? The, yes. the weapons license you get by default for PD, we've clarified with this PD, it's in their uh, announcements and yep. it is their official policy. That mm -hmm. does not count for a civilian gun. If they oh, want I, I, a civilian weapons license, they need to get a second weapons license tag and pay the fee. Yes, I do. Uh, that wasn't, it wasn't oh, that so much. Con the, ahead, the, con the concern is that the PD is not good at cleaning up after people. So there is people that had a weapons license when all they needed was access to PD. I believe the example was that somebody was going in for a meeting. They needed the keys and by in that process, they got key uh, a weapons license and then it was never removed. Not that I'm saying that people will go in and buy equipment, but it's a bit of a concern that these tags are not getting removed. Currently, that would be a, a Slack, Sterner, and possibly Barrack issue if uh, I believe they would be the only three who could handle that sort of cleanup. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it up with. Uh, I, I can also, if I see them first, I can I can communicate that as well. Yeah, they. I just I, they need to be a bit proactive. Not that I think that people would do it, but eh, I feel like I've heard that somebody got fired or laid off, but he had his license still and did some dumb shit. Oh, for heaven's Yeah, sake. I've talked to uh, Slacks about that yeah. several times. I'll talk to Barrick again. I'll make sure it's a priority. All right. Because the Sounds last good. I heard with uh, both Gregory Johnson and. There's another person, I forget who, but both people uh, had an issue with understanding the yeah. bound, the bounds of the weapons license they were issued, oh, and then also it not being removed, Thank you, and it not being removed immediately. Yeah. Uh, so I will reinforce that with Barrett. Yeah, what, what are we doing about uh, Junos? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's a good question. Uh... I have no issue with uh, hmm. Have you guys bought civilian licenses? Um we bought a marriage license. That's about it. Okay, but nobody in here has bought a civilian gun license. No, no. Yet. No. 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 Uh so here's well, here's something I have to bring that. Uh should Juno's weapons license and the rest of ours, because they were given under the auspices of beta testing this thing, mm -hmm. uh, be only preserved if we uh, pay the uh, the license fee. And thus, Juno's would be removed because, you know, she would need to apply just like anyone else. Why, However... Why, why don't you just remove it? <laughs> yeah, just remove it, man. Fuck That's it. That's not how that works. Why not? Because <laughs> I am Alan Crane. <laughs> <laughs> that could work like that. <laughs> man, I fucking... I am it. not I, Maximilian I, Thoroughbred. I do not have a face tattoo, young man. I hate... I, what? What? I hate her. I do not want her to have... It, 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 conveniently, oh no, my gun got robbed. You know, come on, man. Fucking Jesus Christ. What? Oh no, someone planted a gun on me. Come on, man. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, we hear <laughs> arguments like that a lot, but I do get what you're saying. Um, yeah. Hey, I never said the oh no, that gun was planted on me thing. Was, I, I know. Yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah, pointing yeah. out that you were too eager to pardon that person, so. Well, I pardoned him. Want me to I pardoned him you know. based on shoddy police work. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I. I have my own thoughts about that whole thing with Juno. I think uh, 
they probably align with yours and that it's very clear that you know she probably just gave a gun to someone and made up a story yep. uh but uh i can't just pick and choose when i remove for that suspicion fair that would create a lot of problems um shit i don't have <laughs> don't think I have the money to buy one right now. You want uh, 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 I don't want a loan. No loan. We're debt free. We're debt free right now. We're debt free. We are debt free. We got a house. That's, that, that's enough. Hey, I mean, I'll give you, I'll give you a 35k loan for a house, Max. That's you, that's collateral. You, you would be a loan shark, Molten. Yeah. You you are. You embody loan shark. You just need one of those. He does have energy. He does have that energy. Bit, what was yeah. that? What was that cream? Bluetooth earpiece, you know? Oh, God, that's all Slendors he's missing. always have a Bluetooth earpiece. It's just like their fucking uniform. Uh, all right, let's just leave it as it is then, because I, I don't have the money right now. <laughs> that's all right, no that's, good. That's, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro, I can't afford that shit right now. I'm going to be real. <laughs> well, in that case, do I have the thing for you? Uh, the le oh. legit legislation. <laughs> it is a. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a. It's an exit if bonus. You so tell me you want to build a spaceship. I'm kicking your ass out of this room, Mike. No, oh that God. might be down the road. I don't have spaceship. the money for it. Please, yeah. no. Not I do have a spaceship. spaceship. Yeah, that's true. Already has one. All right, continue. Oh. So the the legit legislation is uh, basically it's an exit bonus. When we're done with our term, uh, we will get a certain amount of money. I'm dying. And that's basically it. There is no, I haven't put any specific amount in because that is for the, this discussion. And obviously, if people are for or against. Move or escape, I'm good. I'm just going to kill this thing real quick. Uh, yeah. It is hey, a. Wait in... a second. This says mm -hmm. like. I think that should be changed. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like that is also. Hey, wait yes. Wait a second. Because I think we're all conflicted. This, this says you have to leave this. your position. Oh, it doesn't, did I? Oh, he's making an edit real quick. Oh, is it complete even if you get reappointed or reelected? It is the right now. I, the right, the way I have it right now is that you. It's the complete uh, ninety days. This is the Again, Bobby Coda clause. This, but for now, that is what I put in. <laughs> it is the right. for the elected people, and you have to do your entire term. Meaning that if you, if somebody leaves in the middle of a term and somebody else gets appointed, they will not get that bonus. It you is too the beautiful thing about America. What is if we build a spaceship and steal two hundred million dollars? Right. It's like embezzlement, all these nasty work. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we all vote to reward ourselves for being hard workers and such great people, this is uh, what Max told <laughs> Shawan like last night. Democracy, exactly. Meritocracy, even. Um, that's why. Wait, that's the opposite of what he's doing. Are we altruistic <laughs> enough to have this not go into effect after uh, our term, if, if if it is voted in? Mm, you know yeah, what? That's what I, I would thought. Be, yeah. No. Oh, okay. All right. The of Alan Greenspan. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 to be fair, I, I think it. I understand the deterrent for sure, like, uh, or the the deterrent on corruption at least. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll do uh, it. I think well, it is. Yeah. Like, well, you had this in tandem. Incentive. You had mm -hmm. this in tandem with the Trump legislation, right? As like the incentive against corruption, and this is like a reward for not being corrupt, right? Like incentivizing yes. ethical behavior. This is the carrot. The other is the stick. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so uh, th that's the other thing. Yes, I do have we'll the just embezzle on the way out, guys. Is, which is easy that peasy. If you do get impeached. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh you will not hold a last last day going forward nab a, a cool mill 12 uh, i had it at six months but changed it to 12 months and then and after the 12 months in there somewhere is it i couldn't find it when i looked for i it. thought it was sworn that i had something in there about i thought it was for elected office not government official as in like cop ems etc uh i'm looking at impeachment would it be it, it would be in the oath, right? You can see it in the oath. I, put, I thought I put somewhere. Conve get conveniently held up at an ATM. Oh my god! About uh, wait, like the corruption, the storyline somewhere. If you fuck up and like you're someone's robbing me. Like, no, you no. You couldn't be voted again for a certain period of time. Marsha, thanks for something. I think it was like nine months or something. 
Oh, you have it in the Constitution. You have like the Articles of Impeachment thing, but I don't think it actually has. It doesn't cover it. What? Yeah, it doesn't cover Maybe like what happens after. That. Maybe we, it never got written down. Yeah. It might have been. All right. Well, you guys want to put something in right now? I I'm all for like um, the impeachment stuff affecting like uh, any kind of thing that you'd have to vote for, like any kind of the election, this council, et cetera, et cetera. As far mm -hmm. as like all government jobs, period. I'm going to use Cantor as the example is if she ended up getting impeached for financial related crimes, does that deter from her work in the medical field? I, mm, I don't it think says, it says no. So in, in the writing, it's it, it's it's saying future public office, basically upholding standards of conduction and responsibility. Oh, if it says that, then yeah, I uh, then, then I agree. Sorry, I, I read government like officials and, and thought that included any government employee. No, no, no. Gotcha. All right. Because if it's if it's. I guess any any sort of government employment would be. But an ATM job in and the president get robbed so there. The what was that? That was me oh, slapping okay. my arm with this candle lighter. So it's just uh, any future public office, basically position. Super Schmemann, Terrorblade. Still like the Fourteenth Amendment. S. Austin. Some sort thing. No, uh, like, right, like they're trying yeah, to listen. say that, like, if you've engaged in insurrection, right, same sort of thing. Like, if you've been, been impeached, you shouldn't hold public office. I don't know. It's for candles. What if you get pardoned? And weed. Speaking of candles, I'm going to light a candle. Ooh, you, I feel like you, even if you do get pardoned, you should not. Or an explanation, well, right? Either you, one. You, you, well, this you isn't, like, impeachment isn't like a charge. Right. Yeah. It's not you on your record. Successfully, you mm -hmm. should not be able to hold public office for a long period. Yeah. yeah. My vote is nine months. Nine months? That's, yeah, that, we can it's a good time. middle ground. Yeah. It's a good middle ground between six and twelve. This candle's so dumb. with me. Anybody object to me amending the legislation regarding the city council oath to reflect the fact that if you are impeached uh, from a council position, you may not serve for nine months? Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. So there went. Uh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm fine with that. Just to clarify here, then there, there's no review. It's just like it automatically expires and you can run again. Is that what the wording would be? Mm. Do we uh, want to yeah, have it up for a review? Or okay, then in that case, I think I think nine months is long enough that you know, hey, if you want to run again, good luck. But people are still gonna remember. Yeah. Do you want uh, to do, make the changes then, Bryn? Uh, yeah, candle scent you got? It's an apple candle. The, uh, expectation of the city council. But right it's now. I don't think All it's right. working. I think it's dying because it's almost dead anyway. Uh, do we want to define the number for the legit act? Uh, if people are for it. Again, I, I know, Molten, what, what was your, like, uh, if we should is, amend it Is it true I'm doing term? a hair transplant well, treatment, that's why you're using uh, cam anymore? Let's say in other systems, yeah. when people vote to raise their own pay, it doesn't go into effect until next cycle, because there's obvious right. conflict there. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like with the amount of dumb people going off on Twitter instead of talking to us, I feel like we need a check who, who, when we leave. Uh, who's doing that? Uh, Mr. Lang <laughs> was one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Lang was a the the storm yesterday. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Lang, yeah. Lang's on his, his Karen arc. He wants things that just aren't possible. He's got the impression that uh, things operate the way that they did long ago uh, when you could embezzle millions and millions and millions of dollars as the mayor, which he probably did when he was mayor, and you could just oh. snap your fingers and assign a building to someone with their cool new business idea, all of which impossible now. Uh, uh, the other person is uh, your favorite, the uh, treasoner. She also went off on Twitter. That was yesterday, though. It's not not something you can find now. Uh, uh, I, uh, yeah, Brooke Ruth uh, resigned for a reason, probably. <laughs> that's, yeah. all, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's fine. Uh, we even had a. Uh, we had we heard some people out yesterday, and after they left, they also went went to Twitter again. Mm -hmm. Because apparently we didn't want to hire uh, the engineer from Team Fortress 2 to fix Oh my god, uh, about that? Bugs. About that? That lunatic, yeah. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I, I almost fucking lost my fucking <laughs> mind. Uh, he came up and said, I think we should hire Team Fortress 2 engineer to fix senior bonds. I'm like, okay. F fix what? what? Fix what? <laughs> I, apparently everything was broken. According to who? Yeah. <laughs> Even more hats. Mm -hmm. And I told him, if you can find an machine. engineer, then uh, maybe we'll look into it. But other than that, I don't, I don't know what you're asking of me. So, 
I also yeah, had a guy was... going in circles saying that the old point system in terms of... Uh, oh, God, Cal. Uh, yes. Cal Mao. Yeah. 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 The old point system when you get, you know, a point for running a red light or whatever is, is old and outdated. When he this thinks motherfucker he has... shouldn't have to wait 30 days. Yeah, he has 25 points that he accumulated over the, the 30 <laughs> days somehow. That is so many. That is so many. Literally so many. <laughs> so, and they went to Twitter again saying that we didn't listen. It's like... We literally... So... I... Motherfuckers. No, we He's listened. Listen. We just He's said that he needs to learn how to drive. <laughs> uh, I have I've, I've personally... Because I've been holding town halls since the beginning of my term. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm pretty confident he has said he's come to me and said something about the points thing twice. <laughs> he said it to everybody yeah. who listen. Uh, he just he continuously breaks traffic laws and then doesn't feel like he should have to wait for them to drop off so he can continue to break the traffic laws. Yeah. So and he's upset he's spaghetti that nobody's agreeing with him, so uh, So Yeah. Well, in general, I just feel like people want to go on Twitter rather than talk to us about their problems and their concerns. Yeah. And I yeah. feel like we we are, do, I'd say we are doing a good job at, uh, you know, trying to listen to the people that want to talk and making legislations where we need to make them. Do I think we should wait to make it look good? Uh, sure. Do I think we deserve a bonus for doing the groundwork? Yeah. Wait, do I get a bonus for making the council? <laughs> the, the same as everyone else would, Crane. So I you you try to hypnotize me, Chatter? Elected by uh, the state. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, there was a vote. The guy <laughs> asked himself, do I vote for Crane? And he said yes. And then I won with 100% of the vote. Well, when is your next crazy? What's a landslide? Look like an anime when character. The end of your term? I think it's when the guy rescinds his vote. Because then it'd be zero percent, right? It's when he dies, guys. <laughs> hey, don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it is. I, I didn't put any numbers, so we can always talk about it if people think it's a bad idea, or if we should wait till the next, you know, next term. Then we can also discuss that. We gotta let Mike but, do his own uh, thing. That's why we have this council meeting, right? To, to discuss that. Uh, Max as a character yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll does not like this, but we have to support. You know, aside, I, uh, I'm I'm simultaneously much in favor. And ours actually drew anime of version of Lenny and Decker. Very hard at this job to be compensated. On uh, That being said, I am also very much uh, against anything that would cause the perception that we're. You know, just a bunch of rich men north of rich men, you know what I mean? <laughs> what, if, what if we have This looks like Gundam that, style, uh, that's cool. I mean, I, whoever the, the ultimate financial authority, let's just say it's the treasurer, for example. Maybe that's for that's really the good. next council's approving authority to decide. Like, they decide like all the Gundam previous, style. like, how did the previous one do? Are they deserving of a bonus? If so, I what? I think that's different. No, oh, all right. Because, I mean, the next council, what, what's their POV? Oh, hey, guys, we just got uh, elected. Woo, great. We won. What's this? We get the what option. What does the kanji to say? It says eclipse. Or not? Thanks, past council. That's sick. Like, I don't. I don't think. Uh, oh no, they wouldn't be rewarding themselves money. They would be money. A, they, they'd rewarding, be rewarding us. us money, and then the people after them. Is that Lost Star creating a passed on baton thingy? If uh -huh. you're only worried about perception, Crane, that would solve that. But yes. Yeah, but wouldn't uh... it just be like you would just keep doing it because then you would hope the next guy would keep doing it? Once again, I'm, I'm it's not just saying that old anime style. Problem. I'm saying if your issue is public perception, this helps with it's that. It says solar eclipse. I, I, don't again, I, I don't think, it, again, we don't have to vote for this. Uh, it's like my public perception right now is that people. Wait, what if complain? we just have Etta give us all money and we don't tell anyone? Yeah. Why would you put that evil on me? <laughs> I was just seeing if anyone would go for it. I'm glad it's not being recorded. Ain't no way. Uh, oh, no, I, was, I was joking. God. It's, it's, oh my god. I thought you were joking, so I was joking. Uh oh. Max, you're awfully quiet. Um. Because I'm in total support of Michael Simone's idea. <laughs> oh, nice. I will say, in support of this idea as well, I think, uh, I think <laughs> if we are passing a carrot, it should be at the same time as the stick. 
<laughs> like, uh, what? If, so, Kylo Ren. Let me, let me uh, ask this then. What if we just opt our pay in that case, Rain? Like, do we, <laughs> do we announce that? Uh, we do not typically announce uh, the amount that people are paid. No. Yeah, yeah, but people talk about it so openly that people pretty much have a good idea as to what uh, everybody makes. Yeah, my, my point is just that if, if we don't want to do like an exit bonus, we could always up the pay and then people wouldn't know about it, right? So it's not, I'm like, <laughs> again, my, I care about public perception right now is it's not, I don't really care because people don't want to talk to us. They just want to complain and not give us feedback. Again, I'm not. I, I don't, I'm not going to try and force this through. I don't really care too much. It was just something politics. I came up. With. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I know. After the town hall, Murphy had uh, he sent out a tweet about scheduling town halls. But whereas I understand that that would make it easier for people to plan to attend, uh, it would also make it easier for shitheads to coordinate uh, mm -hmm. attacks on. I, I got a question because I was in prison. Uh, mm -hmm. when did previous mayors typically schedule their town halls? <laughs> Very ad hoc, and it was like, uh, hey. What? You mean the hell town hall? Yeah, right? They, <laughs> you mean they, the hell town hall? They did. I don't they, remember. They, it, typically, it was, uh, I, it, it wasn't regularly, if that's what you're getting at, but usually, yeah, one, once or twice, uh, their term. So, on <laughs> average, once a month, there was, like, a city town hall. And that, but that wasn't just the mayor, right? That was the uh, the mayor's office. Yeah, the the PD, PD was there. The judges yeah, were there. The DJ, yeah, it, yeah. It, it was definitely an entire city affair. They were planned ahead, um, you yeah. know, to give advance notice. However, it pretty much turned into a giant dog piling of PD bad. You know, this is why I hate the PD. Blah 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 blah. And then it would just go around in yeah in circles for hours, and oh. it was just. Um, Nothing yeah. productive. Hey, really I got a loophole. I, I, I'm in favor of a pay raise, by the way. <laughs> I got a loophole. <laughs> What's up? All right. Uh, you could, this is about, I'm not sure. Right now, I'm 48% serious. Uh, you could adjust the pay for the city council members uh, for the last day to be whatever you want the bonus to be. So... You could just have like we could have a pizza party for an hour where Ooh. we all make fifty thousand an hour. I love that. <laughs> Let me explain the liberal heart scene. I feel like it's I can work. It feels more sketchy than this, honestly. I feel like we should be more transparent though. I feel like we should be transparent. I, uh, this is actually giving me anxiety. Yeah, I feel <laughs> transparency I, is the best policy. Transparency no, is know, the best know, policy. Hey, what, what about, I feel worse about this since we started talking about it. I'm what, gonna be honest. What, 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 what about a casual two hundred dollar an hour pay raise? Uh, let me do the math on that real quick. <laughs> are uh, we, what are we currently? At? I don't even know. I'm at eight fifty. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Uh, it? Something like that. Yeah. So now I have some graphs. Okay. Uh, and my chief of staff notes, if you want to like pull those out, we, the, the state account can definitely sustain that. Yeah, do you see that? The state account can definitely sustain a, mm -hmm. a bump. Speaking of, uh, how exactly are we supposed to export the bank records? Because my exporting has never yeah, worked. Yeah, it, 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 it sucks. It is being worked on. Okay. Hey. I sincerely I had, I, apologize. I, 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 I had to go directly to huh? the state. And have it pulled. <laughs> oh, okay. So yes, you can try. You can try that too. Um, you, know, you know how it is, though. Getting a hold yeah, of someone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm fine with leaving this one and then just doing a two hundred dollar pay raise. If that is what you think agree. Is, is, yes. Agree. If it's uh, about the <laughs> uh, the perception, I don't personally care too much, but I, I get the point. It was just something that I came up with. Know, incentivize so that we don't ourselves do dumb shit as a mayor or deputy mayor or anyone in between. Two hundred dollars an hour pay raise for everyone in this room. I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, I'll be a nay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's do a vote. Vote on hey. uh, on pay raise. Uh, I. How much is it? Two hundred an hour. Two hundred dollars an hour more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, deferring, I'm deferring to the treasurer. It's a financial matter. At a like what? What is our current 
projection in terms of income. We have a we got a lot of money. Right we now. have a lot of money, but mm -hmm. that's not really the relevant. Factor. Yeah, that's because the state often has like contracts they would pay for, so mm -hmm. they might come calling and tell me that we got to pay for infrastructure development costs exactly for rebuilding, and I got to come up with fifty million dollars. So I'm not relying on there being a big pool. But we are, as far as, and Eddie can confirm, as far as I know, my last conversation with her and the mayor was that we were doing, you know, very well in terms of uh, tax rate and income and all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so what do you think, Ada? For, Mal for Malton's sake. I, well, okay. When we gave everybody else raises, we ignored ourselves. Um, true, true. <laughs> yeah, true. Preach it. So I would say if we gave a hundred to everybody else, why not us? True. Preach it. So especially given the amount of verbal abuse that we take and, you know, whatnot, <laughs> that we do have a uh, higher standard um, as opposed to everybody else. I mean. I work hard. I work hard, guys. All right. Well, then, then yay, yay for me. Also, yay. Dakota's an A. Uh, Philippa, I guess, abstains since she's not here. Uh, Alan Crane. <laughs> what is, what is to, what's the vote at? To, uh, yay, nay, yay. One, yay. one, one. Uh oh, and <laughs> no, it, oh, it, one it, yes, one no, one abstain. No, no, it's me. Three yes. Me, yeah, three yes. One no. Oh, you're, no, you're right. Sorry, we start, start with you. Don't do it. Don't, uh, I don't think do it. That, uh, <laughs> He's going to avoid the super majority. He's trying to come I up with a reason. That... Motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker, dude. Uh, I am I'm in approval in accordance with a proportionate raise to what we gave to everyone else. Uh, so, yay. Yes. Oh! Yeah. I'm also yay for that. Mike? Yay. Chauvin? Oh, yay, obviously. Sick. That's Six a one, one. That's a super majority, baby. <laughs> All right, so All right, let me change my notes. Then. <laughs> I will include that as a footnote in the DOJ announcement about changes. Uh, but there's no like, legislative piece for it. Do I just eat the uh, these, or do I just leave them on the in reports? Oh, the oh, the, uh, we can leave those as yeah. um. <laughs> Dakota about Sorry, to sign in as a council member. The ones that we didn't approve or whatever. Yeah, the Trump legislation and the did legislation. Uh, I would say cops are gonna like, riot. I mean, I mean, I can just make a tag for Good. not approved or something. Yeah, that works. Okay, let me make a tag. You can't distinguish. So there's three. There's three ranks. You got mayor, uh, deputy mayor, council member. As for the last one, I got. I think we're skipping that for now. So do not worry about that one. I yeah, think that's yeah. all I have. Sick. Uh, my darling, the chief of staff, dost thou have anything to present to thine council? Um, no. Just a heads up that we had looked at, kind of like just, just let people are aware the ordination program. Um, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, yeah. a, a lot of people have, uh. You know, they hear the word religion, they're like, eh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, you know, it's not anything super serious. Um, uh, and I kept it kind of sparse and left the ultimate power to the mayor's office to decide whether or not someone is uh, serious about yeah, it. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Have you gotten a lot of interest? I have gotten, I think, two people who are interested in doing it, which, you know, it, it's for those people, you know, and people coming mm -hmm. forward in the future. I thought we already did this, didn't we? Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, we, we, this we, is just streamlining what the program, how it's actually, how you, how to actually be ordained. Right? Yeah, how it's we, we had established it was on, yeah, exactly. Just so that it's, there's transparency. Um, yeah, no, we, we, Why don't we just do this as an advisory, like we did the DOJ thing. Well, the, the, my wife is bringing it up as a, a courtesy to everyone here that we have, we've de defined the program oh, process. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want, yeah. Do you want me to publish this? Also no, yes, advisory? please. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank okay, you. You perfect. got it. Cool. Yep. Sorry, that was what I, I wanted. No, it's bad. okay. It's okay. It was just for, yeah. So it could be published as an advisory for transparency. So people know what they need to do for the process. Um, cool. uh, okay. So. This week, I actually don't have anything to present. <laughs> Yeah, 
Uh, so, I mean, provided no one else has anything they want to say or do, um, we're done. Wait, where'd well, Nakota go? Can I... Uh, he dipped out early, I guess. Oh, might have fallen asleep there. Oh, the, yeah. the fucking... Ooh. Oh, I, I, you know what? I, I did forget about something. Yeah, Max. Um, what's up with this bike cop shit? Does anyone know what's going on? <laughs> uh, there. Sorry, go ahead. So no, I don't no, if you, you have your... No. no, no, you probably have more insight than I do. My understanding, uh, Max, I'm sure it uh, you you'll you'll love to hear this one. Is this is in response? This is the uh, the petty response to uh, well, initially it was petty. I don't know if it's morphed into something else. Uh, regarding the uh, you, you know, you got to pay your own way. You know, they don't want to front for the engine replacements, et cetera, et cetera. So basically, th this is uh, it started as the the gripe against the uh, you know the initial loan pushback of. Well, if we're having to pay for vehicles that aren't our own, then we're just going to use bicycles. And man, why are cops such pussies, guys? I don't well, get it. Now, now, <laughs> now I think for some of them, they they may actually legitimately enjoy it. But that's how it started. It, okay. it definitely started as like a, a gripe. Um, I, I feel like, I mean, honestly, if they're if look right, part of the 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 police department restructure and all of the stuff that happened like a week or two ago, um is is kind of geared toward like morale increasing Omega essentially because the the number one issue that was cited to my wife and i when we we're interviewing cops is retention 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 you know so if, if riding a bike around makes a cop want to get on duty then fuck it dude i don't care i actually don't care <laughs> yeah I, I think nowadays it it's like the people you know they they didn't protest but then they actually started to like it type of shit um siobhan what was the other thing uh, lowering the fine on adoption fraud or adoption oh. fees in general, lowering adoption fee. Uh, oh, yeah, we yeah. talked about that last yeah, night. Yeah, we talked about that last night, exactly. Uh, yeah, we want to lower that to 10K. Uh, Is that just to encourage people to actually do it? Yeah, yep. much. it's too expensive right now. Honestly, I, we felt this way for probably about like a month and a half now. But so somebody we... came forward and said they would have done it already, but the cost was exorbitantly high and that if it was 10,000, they could have done it. Well, they also kind of went in circles until we actually pressed them about it. So. Yeah, the other actually, Michael, that was you pressing them that's to get just, to the root of it. That's just Sephora. She's she's like that. <laughs> okay. Everything <laughs> else, your, everything else would stay the same. Like still the high fines, still the limits. It's just the straight yeah. Yeah. certificate costs go down. So would it be what 10, 20, 40? 10, 20, 10, 20, 30 is fine. 10, 20, uh, 30 10, 20, 30? Okay. Yeah, fine with that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I might actually do it. No refunds? No one's done it! <laughs> well, one other thing. Did anybody... I heard that Bobby Charles died yesterday. Nice. Anyone know if... Is that true? That's a victory mm. for humankind. We're not that lucky. <laughs> didn't he, didn't not that lucky. Own, God damn it. Didn't his own funeral on Twitter? Wasn't he literally stomping around the town hall? <laughs> oh, that too, yeah. Oh, I did not see him. All right. It yeah, was, it was really was, late when he... I saw the Twitter post, so... Oh, okay. Maybe it was after. Ha I'm sure he's fine. Has anyone actually adopted? Uh, Bobby Charles so. just answered his phone. He is not dead. Okay. All right. Oh, we could only have been so lucky. Yeah. I did 50% of an adoption. What? What? Oh, wow. I disowned my wee bitch son. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Can Archer did? Mm -mm. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. I need to make a uh, master document of adoptions just so it could be tracked. Um, uh, Crane, can you adjust? Uh, it seems like we're all in agreement with the uh, the adoption costs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you there, Mr. Allen? I'm writing the uh, advisory for the... Making the edits on the advisory for the loan. Give me 45 seconds. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a, a master document for adoptions. So, Crane, is it your son or your grandson? It's my grandson. I just wish it was both. Okay. What the? <laughs> what the fuck was that typo? Uh, I guess for a general uh, discussion, uh, the civilian oversight 
board polls close on on Wednesday are we wanting to like all the eight in here who end up making it and have them give like a five minute spiel or we just wanted to go off with the names like how, how are we wanting to do like the the eight trimming to four next week Ooh. shouldn't be one by one presentation not having all yeah. eight in here oh well, yeah, yeah. That's what, that's we should I mean. quantify the qualitative Mm, I think mm, it was mm. originally discussed that you were going to be doing interviews, like separate interviews, to reduce it down to four. Right. I'm. I'm just. Uh, I guess uh, I, I'm just not wanting to spend, you know, 15 minutes with eight people because you know that's already like two hours there, right? Like I, I, think, I don't know. I think that we should make our decision. Uh, we sh we should figure out how to structure it once we get the eight people. I think, uh... Am I dumb? At the very least, we should meet them all in person. 1858. I agree. And I think that maybe we maybe we have, like, an open panel where we have all eight of them in the room, and we have the resumes, and we as we as a group can ask questions to any people we want, or none, or all, you know? Ooh, a group interview? Yeah, just like a group question and answer Libby. to have them sort of back up their shit. And we could yeah. just do that at the beginning of the meeting, maybe? That way, no yeah. people aren't, like, waiting or whatever. I'm good with that. Polibi. I think that'd be good, and then we can, you know, use our own methods to sort of. Jonathan Acker's an, an officer, dude. To advise the uh, the eight who win the uh, the first round, basically, to either like come in with a resume and and we can look well, over that. They already provided a. Uh, oh, they did on their platform. Stuff yeah, okay. on the application. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> they can, you know, we can ask them to expand or poke, uh, you know, on things there. I think that'll work. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, both of the advisories are listed. If you guys look up state announcements and reports, can you see those? Yes. Cool. Are you ready for the changes to the adoption policy, Crane? Do you all, as city council members, are you all be able to see the uh, uh, the DOJ documents? Nope. Uh, no. No, I would have to be signed in as an attorney to see them, I believe. State announcements uh, uh, documents are viewable from the public MDC. I'm talking about uh, DOJ, DOJ documents. As I, yeah, those I are internal. Oh, wow, well, this reminds me. Um, I'm just going to announce this now. I am now Mormon. Congrats. Thanks. Oh, she said yeah. congrats. Oh, you watch Glenn Beck, too. Is Glenn <laughs> Beck a Mormon? Yes, yeah. I guess I'm going to stay. Yeah, I, I, it kind of makes sense about him now. I, I thought he was dead. <laughs> no, he just moved to the internet because mainstream media is fucking corrupt and they couldn't handle the truth. Yeah. I always kind of saw him as like a budget Rush Limbaugh, honestly. He is a budget Rush Limbaugh. I, I don't I don't think you should besmirch uh you know his name like that. <laughs> uh he's respectful of all people. <laughs> Dude, I honestly had not thought about Glenn Beck for like fifteen sorry, years I, before um, today. I now support Mitt Romney. Yeah, I, maybe he did. Okay. Well, I don't he have fell asleep under the table and things. Wait, like I Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nakoda really never just... walked out of here. He crawled under the table, and we haven't yeah. seen him since. He's... He oh. should be uh, right outside soon. To him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. He's doing his best. Yeah, no, I sometimes it happens. Uh, are you are you able to make the changes to that adoption policy, Crane? Wait, what changes? Uh, we're changing the fee. Okay. Let me know when you're in the document. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm pulling what, nose. Uh, this is file as legislation. Mm -hmm. Pulling nose hair out. You remember the title? Adoption policy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, adoption policy. All right. You in? 
Okay, let's go. What are we doing? Okay, first fee, 10,000. Second fee, 20. Third fee, 30. <clears throat> mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, Alright, is the bounty still the same? Uh, I'd be, I would, I'm in favor of raising the bounty, but I would, I would defer to the treasurer for that. Well, it's got to be less than 10,000, right? Uh, yeah, I was thinking 10, 10,000. So we're going to give all the money for the fight for the, uh, it would have been. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll, uh, wait, we want to change yeah, the, the job option for the charge. Been goes to that person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what else? Hold on. No, no dev stuff, dev stuff, uh, dumb. Uh, we, I got a, uh, oh, never mind. This is just a business proposal. Some moron walked up to me and said he needed $3.3 million to start a chocolate factory. Oh, my God. Willy Wonka? Uh, no, his name was Glenn. Beck? <laughs> Beck? Yeah. It was not Beck. It was just oh a guy named Glenn. Oh, this is Vampire Glenn. <laughs> yeah, Vampire Glenn. Glenn the Vampire. Dev stuff. Yeah, he's going through a lot. Uh, what, what do you guys think about, uh... Choosing a city flower and a city bird. This is like frilly stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of like it, but and maybe I'll, maybe we'll put out a, like a poll for people to uh, fill out. Uh, now, now, Max. What the? You wouldn't want anyone to think you were making laws that don't matter that no one cares about. Oh, I don't. People care. I, don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, dude. <clears throat> like the number one complaint I heard about uh, doing mayor work because I talked to a lot of ex mayors. They were like, oh, my God, it was terrible. I was just doing business-related stuff all the time. Oh, God, it was awful. I hated it. Ooh, 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 ooh. But they knew what they were signing up for. Yeah. Well, I, I, my point is is that I kind of like the, uh, the added freedom of operating as a council so that we can uh, flesh out the... Uh, the city of Los Santos, you know, and most people don't know that the the on the on the flag for San Andre, the state of San Andreas, the the state animal is a, a bear. It's a mm -hmm. bear. Yeah, there was like thirty <laughs> people who failed that question at a trivia night at Legion Square yeah. Park the other night. Like nobody knew. Mm -hmm. Um, I yeah, was, I well, thought it was a beaver for some reason. A lot of people what don't the even fuck? know we live in Los or San Andreas. True. Actually. Yeah, that is true. <clears throat> I got some some notes from Jamal. He said, "Hello, I was thinking about more food places. I got some things that I've written down. Mr. Beast Burger, Mr. Beast Burger, Mr. Beast Burger, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Mr. Beast Burger, McDonald's, Popeyes, Church's Chicken." Uh, and then he said, "Open up a gym so people can get swole. Open up a dating app so people can shut the fuck up on Twitter about their relationship." What is your opinion on legalizing heroin for medical use? Love it. What is about legalizing cocaine? Love it. What are you doing about the fentanyl crisis? Huh? What about having an octagon in the city and people can fight to the death? And then we were kind of like, hey, we're actually kind of working on that. Uh, and then he said, mm -hmm. when are we going to get a function on my phone like Instagram Live? And I said, dunno. <laughs> Liquid Library actually has a cage for that. Yeah, they do have a cage. Yeah. Um, I told uh, Lila Fulker that I would work on potentially pardoning uh, her for a riot charge that she sustained on January 6th. Um, so I will be putting out feelers for that. I, I, I peeped at the docket briefly, and I saw that um, God, it was either Bobby Charles or Carmine Costello uh, finessed their way out of a, a riot charge for the same incident. Uh Go on. I was going to say, Costello did do to, uh, once again, uh, shoddy police work. They, uh, yeah. I, the, what I heard was there was like some mix up during oh, processing, not all, something like that. And basically, they, they had no one on their side who knew the full story to press that charge. Okay. Uh, well, just so everyone's aware, I did tell Lilith that 
Um, and she kind of mirrored the same sentiment sentiment to me when she came to me when we were holding a town hall the other night uh, that I would start the process for her. So look forward to, in the coming week, a scheduling via email chain for that. Um, let's see. I think, I mean, pretty sure that's it. Pretty sure that's it. A Did lot. Of, yeah, I think. Uh, oh, uh, Cow Mao got public intoxication at our uh, our marriage Wedding. party. Yeah, <laughs> at the reception. Uh, Nobody else did. <laughs> I told him to I leave when he came. I told him to leave. I was like, bro, listen, you need to get out of here, dog, because they're looking for you. Is that the speeding ticket guy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Points, yeah, that's the guy. Who Bro, yeah, that that's the guy. This motherfucker came and complained about a seventy dollars citation to me. <laughs> um, you throw him up for pardon too. Uh, he asked me to, uh, and I wrote in my notes that I will. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and backspace that though. <laughs> that's a big backspace backspace for me. Um, uh, I'm looking to. Is anyone familiar with a guy named uh, Greg? How do you pronounce his last name, Siobhan? Laterno. Right, anyone familiar with Greg Laterno? Uh, I saw that he's been doing those uh, biking events. Mm -hmm. That's Wait, the only he? thing that I know. Him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just started doing those bike racing events. But... What did I do? What? I don't know what Crane said. Not the... Yeah. So, uh, I think he was on the phone with Slacks. As he was walking out. Ooh. So. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Um, I'm looking to schedule a pardon for Greg. He's put a lot of work into this. Uh, I think that his story needs to be heard. He has uh, put so much work into this, in fact, that apparently he has video testimonials. Everything okay, Nakoda? You might have to let him out. Uh Oh. Uh, Mr. Clean, thanks for stopping, dude. Welcome back, Nakoder. Bring up bike cops here. Did dude. everyone hear me? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Okay. Sorry. Go, go, go sign in, dog. Oh no, I can do that already. Duty on. Yeah. Must be nice. Must, must be, be. Must be fucking nice. Oh, I wish everyone could do this. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I've been asking for like eight years for the lawyers to have it, and they, they won't. Once this, I'm still upset. Like we can't sign in at MRPD. It's still like we talked about that That's once upon a time. It's never not happened. Time yet. Um, I I think I think we're done, guys. Uh, uh I do have perfect a question. Timer. Yeah, what up? Uh, I think uh, Juno quickly talked about funding events. Yep. But at the same time, I do feel like that is a Pandora's box. I don't know if we want to do anything in writing or do we just kind of want to do it as people like. Uh, so I've been talking to Max and I spoke to Siobhan about it yeah, last night. Yeah, yeah, we talked too. about this last night. Warning, yeah. Flags coming in. I've been kind of uh, attending a lot of events during different times uh, throughout the day. Yep. Um, just, you know, seeing what is out there and who's putting in, you know, effort and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, also just asking people to keep track of, you know, what they spend so I can have an idea as to, you know, what, you know, they're, they're putting into it. Um, you know, I'm not mentioning, you know, anything above that, but just, mm -hmm. you know, that we're interested in supporting it where we can. So I'm just putting my feelers out to get an idea as to what's being spent. And really, I'm just looking to see who's putting in effort and whatnot. So are, I have a list of people so far. Are you thinking about an arbitrary cap to these events? Um, no, just looking to, uh, you know, reimburse um, and then maybe give them a little bonus for their time and effort. Per Max's uh, suggestion. All right. Well, the reason we I want to just, promote that. Yeah, that's the reason. Like, right. I wanted to promote it, but I also don't want people to be like, hey, I, I got this event. And yeah, no, I'm not discussing money. any money. Yeah. All right. Good it's enough. not going to be, it's not, it's, uh, you know, I'm not giving them the money first. They have to bring me receipts and then we reimburse and then, you know. All right. That works. Yeah. We, we love the, uh, 
uh, reimbursing uh, hardworking creative event runners. Uh, mm -hmm. I made it pretty clear at a couple town halls. That I'm like, listen, man, we know that people game the system last time, so we're going to be pretty strict on this moving forward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why we only gave ourselves a hundred dollar an hour rate. Two hundred. Oh, two hundred. You're right. Two hundred. <laughs> uh, well, I said a hundred. <laughs> yeah, I thought we agreed on a hundred. Not two hundred. I agreed on two hundred. What? No, I said a hundred. <laughs> um. But what if should it was two hundred? What? Yeah, should we vote what, on what another hundred dollar increase? <laughs> Older at it. What about two hundred? What, what was the intent of the vote, though? Because sorry, that's just a, that's a top. Wow! 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 You would. What was the spirit of the? <laughs> the spirit of the vote was a proportional pay increase, which is closer to two hundred than one hundred. True. Yeah. True. That is Lawyer's the wording I used. I said I yep. would approve anything that was proportional in what we gave other government work. They got 150, right? Well, lawyers got 150 raised. Well, it, but proportional would be, yeah. We round, we, we we're round easily, up in this house. Easily, <laughs> Malton's saying we're easily 1.5x of a lawyer, right, Malton? I know we are. Well, we're on, the old, on the old pay <laughs> scale, we were. Oh, speaking of which, okay. Slacks, well, how, how, uh, what's the, uh, the final verdict on paying back that state loan, by the way? <laughs> Uh, well, as soon as the chief is being added back to it, we can pay it back. I think we can pay majority <laughs> back for sure. Um, yeah, and... Barrett had reached out to me for the account information. Now, do you need a loan to cover what, what extra that you need to pay I back? I don't believe so. I, I think uh, Damn it. the PD will chip in and we'll pay it back. Uh, Dude, why didn't you send me any uh, gun training people, Slacks? Oh, I, I, I want to talk to you about that afterwards, too, as well. Oh, do we want to vote on that? I, I guess Ooh. that's an idea I had. Yeah. Uh... My idea was, is that in order to encourage uh, more familiarity with PD, with the civilians that do have guns, and establish sort of a rapport and hands-on understanding of Stand Your Ground, so that they don't lose a $70,000 investment, you know, making a mistake their first time ever using the gun, uh, that we incentivize PD to uh, offer training classes on firearms, firearm handling, safety, and all that, uh, and Stand Your Ground conversation with the officers. And then, in addition, uh, we give a discount to the person who agrees to go to that program, uh, and we give PD a kickback on that uh, some of the money. So they could earn money by training people, and we could have more, you know, peace of mind that uh, people are actually, you know, going into their first gun use situation response. You just wrap that into the twenty percent discount, right? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I ever came up with the exact numbers, but. My idea was just to figure out a way to give PD like 5k per person they train. And that's a pretty nominal sum for, you know, a little kickback. Yeah. I mean, I love that because uh, we don't want a bunch of fucking misunderstand, uh, misunderstood stand your ground cases clogging the docket, do we? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good to practice, uh, you know, gun safety principles for folks that do carry. So why don't, why don't we do this? Why don't, uh, why don't we uh, get like a roster slacks that you got that we, you can give to the clerks with Alex? Maybe you can coordinate with my chief clerk here and give her a roster of officers that are interested in doing gun safety classes. Perfect. And I'll add the yeah, phone numbers as well, too. We can sort of create like a protocol in some kind of shared document where you keep track of uh, starving children could eat to, those so bones. Verify. Not that you guys wouldn't be honest, but I can verify how many people actually got referred and how many people got trained. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay. Uh, anybody uh, on the council got any objection to that concept? Nope. Ooh. All right. Uh, I guess it's so. Uh, I brought slacks in here uh, for something. If if I can shift to that, is that okay? Or we we got something else? Yeah. 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 No. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So slacks has come to me, uh, and I'm just being transparent to all y'all, uh, with the question of. Uh, uh, are you know is, is it possible to go into the prison if people are bringing in contraband in there uh, and i said well currently there is law in the books that's introducing contraband into a government facility oh uh and there is no protocol or guidelines in legislation published that deals with uh, the doj doc or you know the the rights thereof of the pd to apply the law within bolenbrook so my advisory would be that as currently under the law you have a right to do that uh, but I wanted to bring him in, in here and raise that conversation of, uh, given that we haven't issued the uh, directives, how do we feel about what's been going on in the prison? 
I feel if uh, prison is meant to be a lawless land of the island of, of misfit toys, whatever you want to call it, uh, <laughs> contraband, the contraband introduction law shouldn't apply. However, I do feel that the police should be able to uh, do the equivalent of a hot pursuit into the prison. Uh, or if they see someone in prison who maybe has a warrant on the outside or has committed crimes outside, they, they have the authority to go in and, and grab that. Um like I said, I, I just feel that if prison is meant to be uh, lawless, what happens there, what stays there, wh why do we care if contraband is, is being introduced there? Um, I, I, I will mirror Malton's sentiment, uh, like a hot pursuit style, um, I guess, probable cause, right? Doc doctrine? Like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, no, I, I'm good with that. What about if they're taking things out into our world, right? What happens when that uh, gets introduced, right? That ain't the prison. Yeah, we would arrest them. It'd be possession charges at that point, right, Slags? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? You know, would, well, would, no, I... would you be able to articulate um, before a judge uh, searching someone who's leaving the prison? I mean, uh, like a check, a border checkpoint, basically? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, like a customs actually, checkpoint. <laughs> I actually made this argument uh, yesterday to somebody in the PD. So. I mean, that was case to hear. That, that would be my proposal. It's that way, when they're coming back into Los Santos, you know, we know they're not carrying uh, weapons and things like that. That's all. Yeah, dust off the sanguine protocols. Uh, you know, basically... I'd be down for that. It'd be, yeah, same. Uh, bas Ooh. Basically, any cop that wants to be able to do that. Um, if you, if, Slacks, if you want to write up protocol for doing that, you can uh, send it to Crane or I, and then we can present. Um, well, fuck, I don't even know if we have to present it, if we've already established the... No, that, we've already established look mm. the only all you have to do is try your luck and uh, we'll hear it in court and i can i'll give you advice right now that uh if you tell me that you witness someone uh or you witness a, a routine pattern of people emerging from the lawless prison zone with contraband uh and you can articulate that as why you stopped detained frisk search someone that was exiting the prison uh, I would have no issue with that. All I would tell you is you probably would need to monitor who's actually there because they were uh, incarcerated or not, right? Right, and which leads me to something else. I think we need border guards or patrol going on too as well. I think that a job should be introduced as well in Los Santos for folks who can help out with something like this because I'll be honest, the Los Santos Police Department cannot oh, keep up with the Oh, you want me to get a Tacoma and some good old boys ride the ridge line <laughs> outside the front door of the prison and hell, if, if anybody tries to cross that river, I just, you know, I mount my coal, right? Oh, oh dear God. Or, or we can have, <laughs> oh you know, Bobby and about? Carmon. <laughs> some, we, we, oh need, my God. we need a layer. We need, we need like a, like a, like a, look, we need something in between to where the second you leave one, you enter another one, but not yet to where you're going through some sort of checkpoint to where. Oh, like a, like a, uh, like a decontam chamber. Well, how, I mean, I how look? how many ways oh are God. there out of the like? I'm assuming there's like the guard tower jump down and then the front entrance. Is there Correct. is there any way else Correct. they could get no, out? No, yes, folks have been uh, you know jumping off the tower, and then oh, folks have oh been my God. trying to parkour. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> They're killing they themselves. In. How do they get in? Why would they do that? <laughs> they drive 150 miles an hour off of a cliff and ramp in. Oh, Jesus Christ! We were chasing someone yesterday well. in a 150? pursuit. 150? That's an absurd speed. We, we had a hot pursuit. I thought about striking <clears throat> the edge to where they just fall into the ground instead, but I thought that would be a lawsuit in Los Santos. Not a good idea. <laughs> what, yeah, we what, an what, what if you guys and what, they ramped in? What if you guys put away. spike strips right before the jump into the prison? We did that. They got spiked and they still made it in. <laughs> You have to put it a little before the jump, then Nakota. So it slows them down. Okay, thanks, Malton. Do you want to yeah. be there? You can help us set them up, maybe. A little less yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's go after this. Yeah. Why don't we just build taller walls? Yeah. I taller walls. If that's yeah. feasible, I'd be fine with that. Can we? Yeah, I was. In, that was gonna be something else. Can we start building a, a taller wall? Because people can also throw things over easily. A lot of people have strong arms, and they can chuck things almost. Hey, Max, you want to retweet me? Oh uh, my god, no. <laughs> did you say build the wall? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I know Max, we're Mormon now, so we support but... the sentiment. Oh, we support the sentiment that one felt Mormons. good. That one felt good. That one felt real good. I guess good. it should technically say build <laughs> another one, right? Because we're going on top of the existing. Build wall two on top of wall one. Bobby Charles is too, so there, there's your warden. Yeah, uh, we, can, we can ask about that. Um, you know, that kind of falls into... 
can they Where's actually the do one? it territory? Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, somebody raised a question to me about prison being, um, you know, it's a lawless land, right? But for the people who are supposed to be there, for the people who are not, is felony trespassing a thing for them? Well, that was going to be something I bring up. So a lot of folks are actually so. I'm not sure if y'all hold about K Town the past few days, but um, oh, we got married there. It. We got married there. Yeah, we got married right. first so, K Town. Right. So K Town um, popped up again, but this time it has invited more people. I mean, it was not only Mr. K in the wedding; it was half of Los Santos at one point. <laughs> folks are having concerts inside mm, yeah. uh, K Town. People are ramping up, and people are being kidnapped inside um, also uh, the penitentiary. So I wanted to ask if folks are not in there because of jail time, would it be felony trespassing, or would any laws apply to that? Um, seems like a pain in the ass to enforce. Hey, can you trespass in a lawless area, though? <clears throat> That's my it's... thing. So, I mean, I I don't know if you would be willing to to pull the trigger on this literally, sucks, But if it's lawless, and you know, can't cops just Look, be okay? I'm just going to down hellfire in there. Yeah. I think I think we're kind of going in circles here. Look, uh. Mr. Slacks, uh, you effectively, by the advice of uh, this council, uh, have been given the ability to, you know, fairly go try and, you know, hunt those smuggling contraband out of the prison into the city. Uh, I think anything else that you're asking for is effectively you asking us to let you shoot fish in a, a barrel. Uh, and I'm, I'm a no on that. Listen, I'm just having a conversation. Like I said, I'm just trying to pick your brain because I don't, I'm just I'm trying to give right you now, my parameters really, of how I view it. Right, right, right now it's not really lawless, right? Um, until it's in the legislation, as far as I know. So I'm trying to see how to operate uh, for the time being. Do you want me to enforce laws in there, or what? What is what is like the step? I want that you to do what you're comfortable with, uh, both in public opinion and defending in court. I see my people. I see. I just want to be on the same page because I don't want to do something and then, uh, you know, y'all be surprised by it. That's all. Yeah. It, it, look, it'll be it'll be right. Um, by the way, why you is could it, never surprise me? Slags. Why isn't that in legislation yet, by the way? Because uh, the second that I uh, and that's another thing I should have brought up today. Thank you. Uh, the second that I went to start writing it up, I overheard Bobby Charles screaming to hey, multiple people yeah. how they were going to be hired soon. We were very uh, clear. We were very we, we were very clear yeah. about who we were hiring, right? Yeah. Yep. So Bobby yeah. Charles literally like the first night after it was announced, I had a bench trial. Uh or I said it on one, I forget. And as I'm in the room, I can hear him outside like holding interviews and shit and telling people <laughs> how they're gonna be the first hired and you know. So I confronted him and Carmine. I said, You guys are too big for your britches. Carmine gets it, uh, though. He gets and it. And I said, I would, well, but he was doing the same shit. Well, I, uh, as soon as I, like, I brought it up, though, he was like, Yeah, I, 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 you're right. You're right. Like, he was trying to, like, yeah. he was trying to, like, steer Bobby sure. away. So <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you and I wanted to talk to the council and explain and then sort of advise, you know, uh, that I'm probably going to write something specific into the fucking protocols that literally say, they are not the people hiring anyone. They will all be hired as entry level DOC guards, and then they will come to us, uh, and I will hire people that we agree we approve. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll I'll talk to them and I'll I'll get that put in. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Keeps threatening to preemptively stand your ground towards me. <laughs> well, I mean, look, my first interact, one of my first interactions with Bobby Charles was him telling me he had a sniper on the roof that was going to kill me. Uh, he just kept doing it. <laughs> he calls me routinely asking for money. Yeah. Like I'm going to change my mind. Yeah, yeah. He, asked, he asked me for money, too. Yeah. I think, I think he just asked Cram, everyone for before money. Before I get let out, uh, I do apologize to interrupt here. Uh, so I'm not here because I'm not a city council member. I don't want to be here for too long. Hey, to like, you, information. Can, you can be here, dog. We're, I, we're... I wanted to bring up, uh, you know, a potential high uh, threat being made. Uh, you Ooh. know, there's already been a city council has been attacked already. And um, three days ago, we recovered a gun, uh, 1911, that came back to uh, multiple incidents, including the one on Dr. Cantor what, and Judge Jackson. 1911 that was coming back unserialized. Um, a ghost gun. Oh, yeah. so from way back. So probably, 
probably from the past. Uh, I would assume. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who could have got it. I don't want to assume. So you got this. the guy who shot Philippa. Correct. And uh, whistles in this. That is meeting, Mr. Kevin. Who was it? Oh. Oh my God. Who also, <laughs> who also <laughs> has stated how skewed the laws are uh, as far as robbery and possession charges for a PD gun. We already gun. adjusted those. We had our own conversation. All right. Um, would you like to hear what he said as well? Sure. He also stated that he'll be coming for the DOJ, the city council, and uh, he knows how uh, certain laws are done by design, and he's going to do everything he can to kind of just, you know, show how bad they are. So I just wanted to give you all the heads oh, up God. and to understand okay. what's going on. He's about to find out how bad the Ego Act is. <laughs> and, and listen, I try... And or terrorism. And I try to have a conversation with him about this. Um, he was responding, I don't care. Hell so, like, you told um, him that... Going after people who make the laws based on the laws is literally political Terrorism. motivation. Yeah. I, I'll be honest. My goal was to swim to have that talk in the PD. <laughs> Us PD, we can handle something like that. We're trained. We got uh, guns. Shit, we got I tasers. better than half your cops. You fool. Well, you know, maybe, As if maybe, I but care. Still, then, you know, I don't yeah, want, I don't want I don't any coming from the city council <laughs> or the DOJ because uh, y'all have enough and, um, you know, uh, you already have a tough job and I don't place you in that position to where criminals are blaming y'all. Yeah, and that's why we got a two hundred dollar pay raise today. Good work, everybody. Hazard pay, good job, guys. <laughs> Did we say two hundred? It's two hundred. Two hundred. Hazard pay. <laughs> An hour. <laughs> yeah, look, um, cool. you know, I, I'll I'll go get my gun. Uh, we'll hold down city hall. Fuck it, dog. <laughs> so I'll let you know that way. I've RGB likes to, uh, five sub. A potential threat. Um, he has already uh, tweeted out things. Uh, he's Wait, had... is this what he went to prison for the other day? Yes. Correct. He went to prison for. So a, why are we 20, just 000... hearing about this now? If he made threats on our lives. Um, I was sick. I do apologize. <laughs> uh, You're not the only officer. Nakoda, why are we just hearing about Nakoda? What the fuck, man? Come on, Dakota. <laughs> Dude. My, my... My bad. <laughs> well, there you go, Edda. It's Nakoda's fault. Yeah, you can blame me. Hoggers. <laughs> um, look, we all got guns. Anyone here not you know? know what, guys, I've I've been I've been lying to you. I got I got to come clean on something. What? Uh, my conscience would be too heavy if this was a surprise. Just so y'all know, I still get paid as a normal judge. So if anyone complains about the pay raise, I'm gonna say I didn't get paid any different. I didn't get raised. Just so you're clear. Okay. <laughs> How much do judges get paid again? Fair amount. It's more than me. <laughs> Nigga, uh, you make way more than us. Oh, nice. Well, I'm about to make uh, 1100 before tax, so. Courtesy of yeah, that. I vote. think we make 900 which is pretty much other government employees. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all of them. Uh, okay, I think we're I think we're good. Guys, yeah, I think we're good. We I think we're good. Uh, send Philippa our well wishes. What do I have to do outstanding? Um, did you change the adoption shit? Yes. Uh, did you publish? Are you going to publish the the DOC parameters and establishment or whatever? DOC. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. <clears throat> I issued the advisories. Cool. We changed the time on the gun robbery and gun possession laws for PD. Yep. We... I announced the DOJ is going to be doing an overhaul and rebalancing of fines uh, to make things merge better. Once you've proofread the loan document, you can just kick that to a Already DOJ issued doc. as an advisory. Oh, already issued, okay. Uh, as well as the ordination protocols were issued as an advisory. Nice. And then we also amended the other piece of legislation, uh, the expectations of the city council to include nine months uh, inability to run for election if you get impeached. Okay. Sick. Nasty. Oh, wow. we... I work on the DOC stuff. Uh, nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, I mean, anyone who wants to stick around, we're going to do a town hall in the uh, big court, uh, courtroom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you, when, you, when are we Ooh, starting that? I'm going to uh, uh, gonna take a little little piss break and then probably can ready you, for that. Can you make it like 20 minutes? Because I got to put up all the ballots for the Oh, yeah. Uh, oversight board. Yeah, we can like right after the top of the hour. Typing. Yeah, we can wait. Twenty minutes. Then. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go run and do that right now. What? Don't give yourself a heart attack, old man. The judge got what? attacked. Uh, who got attacked? Norman Adams, I believe. <laughs> uh, let me double check. I got told about this.
by uh, Richard Tip. Dick Tip. Oh, and Frank. Dick Tip. Wait. There was a whole fucking court case about it. Oh, this is the city of Los Santos flag. I was thinking of the state flag. So is is the uh Is the state animal Bigfoot? <laughs> or the city animal? Wait, where's that uh picture? <laughs> is he coming? Yo, <laughs> is he coming? Hey, we're safe, dog. <laughs> we're safe, bro. Hold on. I'm going to get some coffee real quick.
What up, players? I got some coffee. <clears throat> ah! Mr. K is here and Miss Lucky. There's what they asked what cream was. I'm sure everything will be fine. Mr. K didn't say a word to me when I said hello to him. I'll call him. <laughs> I, I, te I, I, I texted Green to just hide. Mr. Mayor? Hey, uh, just so you know, we'll be doing a town hall in the big courtroom. Oh, great. Yeah, and uh, some council members will be there too. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, love you, big guy. Oh my God. <laughs> Who'd you send that to? Did you just call? Mr. K. Mr. K? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, I'm... God, I, w I want my gun. Yeah, you'll you'll be fine. Hey, we're fine. <laughs> you gotta you gotta learn to trust the process. Okay, all right. I'm doing. I am. I'm trusting. Trusting in. Wait, the process. Yeah. I don't know if I trust in the process anymore. Uh. I feel like that's but that's what happened to me last night. I was still I was drinking the Kool Aid. I drank the Kool Aid. See, that's a problem with level one through three is that you start drinking the Kool Aid again. Hello, Richard. Hi, Rich. Uh, they call me Richard because I'm rich and I'm hard. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. But <laughs> what do you mean? I, I, don't, I just don't get it. I don't know. You, they call you Richard because you're rich and I'm hard? No, oh, not oh, you. Oh, rich hard. Me. Rich hard. Oh, I get, are, it. I get I, it. I get it now. I get it now. Sorry, it took a second. Sometimes sometimes I regret being the reason that you won. <laughs> you what? <laughs> what? 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 For real? I'm the one that provided the footage of Bobby Charles openly defending them and proving that they that they did their shit. Yes. Oh, well, uh, you know, probably would have won anyway, but I appreciate the help. <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think otherwise? I'm shocked right now. <laughs> you really think so? Yeah. Yeah. You think you? Yeah. You. Yeah. Without me? You. Yeah. Me. Yeah. You. You. Well, let's let's me. be let's be clear. Uh, maybe without Mr. K, I wouldn't have won. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, without Carmine, if Carmine never kissed me on the lips and then shot me after, Wait, I what? wouldn't have betrayed him. What? Did he kissed you. And then show you? I'm so confused. Yes, Carmine kissed me on the lips with tongue, mind you. My first uh, kiss, he took my aw. virginity. Aw. Your first? Aw. Aw. Your virginity yes. also? My, no, my kissing virginity. Uh, okay. I am I have 12 kids, but I'm still a virgin. How? Do you adopt? <laughs> sperm donor? Hey, you're, well, you're a donor? I, I paid to donate my sperm and then I didn't have enough it. money, so they gave away my information. Isn't that, not so, uh, isn't that supposed to work? Aren't you supposed to? Okay, I'm not going to look too much into it. You know, I just wanted to give to the community, you know? That's kind of why I applied for this civilian position. You know? Me. As a crippled member of society as well, you know, I think I could provide it. Oh, I didn't finish reading. I didn't finish reading your your application. And you rated it? I didn't finish. Yeah, yeah, I rated it. No, we. Nope. Turns out I did finish reading it. I I just already forgotten it. Uh, that guy is. 
That guy ran me over. And he wouldn't give me any monies. Like, who does that? That's so rude. <laughs> oh, great. Man, and they can actually do an AMA about legislation that, that you know. Like, what did you guys talk about today? Do they ever ask those good questions? No. What questions? N nothing. Just thinking about it. If I was a member of the public given the opportunity to ask questions of the council right after they had a meeting, I would be asking questions like, what did you guys talk about in the council today? Is there any legislation that was passed that's not published yet? Is there anything that was not passed? Why? I would ask those questions. And I feel like what we get instead is, how come I can't do... Um, become a millionaire immediately. <laughs> well, you, people only give a shit about can their I have money, the state man. monies? I just, yeah. I'm upset. I can't smoke in here. Why? Says who? They, they, they're taking my cigarettes away. Oh, right. Hey, just throw, <sighs> throw it through the metal detector, man. <laughs> I have to go all the way down there. Yeah, um, you, know what, you know what's crazy is, um... Uh, it doesn't take my stuff. Excuse me? Yeah, I don't know. I've just been ignoring that. I don't know why that's happening. Probably I just pretend like... Yeah, uh, is it because DOJ and council? Not sure, but... Hmm. I don't know. I asked Green if I... Is a, I, I didn't respond to my text. I was like, should this should this be the case? Do you know? Remember the gold why medal detector in Vice City? No. It might be special. I should not be. <clears throat> your fake, your fey Irish blood is uh, masking the metal that you're carrying on you. Maybe it's because um, because my blood still runs judicial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Max. So, so anyway, I just I don't know. Yeah. What else? Are you still interested in the Sandy PD? Yeah. We're saving yeah. up our money for something. I don't know what yet. No, that's fair. I don't know if it, I don't even know how to go about this. Same. I know, uh, like... I know Corn would, would be interested. Yeah. So, I don't know if you want to sit down and have a conversation with him. I don't know if you already had that. Uh, I have not talked to him about that, actually. Right, na right, na right, right now, our vision for the... Uh, the LSB. I want to give Barrack a couple of weeks to get the chain of command sorted. Mm -hmm. um, I know they're working on Academy and stuff, and they're going to revamp the application process or at least restart it. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe in like a month would be a good time for a discussion about a, an actual full department out in the uh, country, I think. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. I just want to do, you know, double check how you felt about it. I'm down. I would love to live there. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I, like, if that was like a house, that would be tight. But I know that that's probably not gonna happen. <clears throat> Just in Sandy or at the in the building? In the building, you want to live in? in yeah, I, I thought that's why we were buying it, right? It was just because it was like a cool, like, country estate. <laughs> hmm. It's got offices uh, and shit. It's cool. It rented out to the to the to PD. Can work out of our house. Yeah, sure. Give them a give them a pass to be able to process people there if they want to. No. <laughs> well, how much? How, how much money do you have anyway? Uh, how much money do I have? I am sitting on one hundred and thirty-four thousand. I had to pay for my non non existing uh, transmission. Oh, that was that was like five grand. <laughs> so, did you have to repair it or just buy a new one? Uh, no, I had to repair that one. The only thing you have to buy new is the engine. Well, Everything you you can, can you can get it an automatic transmission. It's already automatic. Yeah, I know. I, I'm saying uh, uh, there's like a different one. I don't know if it's any better though. Mm, <clears throat> I've heard some people. But so here's the thing: I don't believe anything that these fucking mechanics tell me. True. Because everyone's oh, like, they scam me. It, they've been you... scamming me. How do they scam? I hate you? them. Um. So they've been telling me like every time I come in that I need a repair. 
Um, and and then I had Jonathan look at it after they said I need a repair one time, and he said I had like a hundred over a hundred miles left to go before I need another repair. Um, and it turns out they just been, they just they just they just know that I'm an easy mark because I don't know nothing. Well, you do know car stuff though. Shut the fuck up. Tip Osley, Room Seven. You're a big car girl, actually. Thornwood! Howdy, y'all. Hello. What up, Big C? Not much. I I was coming here for security if y'all needed it. Um, No one has showed up yet, but... I think... uh, Did I say it starts in 10 minutes? Uh, I think so. Yes, you did say 10 minutes. Yeah, you did. Hooray! Cornwood, did you drive my my gauntlet yesterday by any chance? Uh, no. Bones did, though. Bones I knew did. it. It was Bones. <laughs> wow, what happened? He, uh, he burnt out the transmission. How are you? The transmission was not... You know how the transmission is kind of like made of plates and everything, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and all those plates were gone. I was just completely torn to threats. So there was nothing left on my transmission. Wait, was it only the transmission, nothing else? Only the transmission, yeah. Wait, what? Which means he, he wrote know. it in first gear on purpose. Was this a... Wow. Wow, what a... Something, what a something that would destroy the transmission. Yeah. Hi, Hubcap. Hi, how are you? That's Is odd. that Ava? Yeah. Hi, Ava. Hi, uh, fuck, Glenn? Right? Gus. That's pretty close. Hi, Etta. Hello. What a mayor. Look at this mayor go. <clears throat> Hubcap, did you get your guitar back? No. What? Not not the original one, though. No. You got a new one? Yeah. Hi, Richard, again. What is this tampering going on with the ballots downstairs? You can't see the entire list. Uh, It's being worked on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh, I heard you're running for city council. No. Everyone knows what the... I didn't commission that ad, all right? Blame whoever made it. <laughs> Blame whoever did it. But everyone knows what we're talking about. Crane was just being Crane. Yeah. He was being difficult for no reason. Hey, he's an old man, okay? <laughs> it's not his fault. Uh, we'll we'll start when Crane walks in, because he's, he's working on the uh, voting shit right now. So how was your guys' police shift today? Uh, uh, yeah, not too bad. We 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 had some chases and whatnot. We had some bullshit. Did you catch Don't them do. though? Uh, we we got a few people today. What is Chad version of me? But it was it movie? wasn't a super great day. We didn't have, we didn't have a big haul today. Get any moonshiners? No, we've been it, we've been trying to find them. We we get them, but it's like uh, I'm gonna talk quietly. One of the hardest things for us is is being able to push the like the proper pc for actually getting them right we'll find them we'll see them we'll see them drive away it's like well shit okay they, they, they've gotten smart they start driving away you know tur- using their damn blinkers and shit so we have no reason to pull them over <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you <laughs> there's, there's very few of them but but i use my blinkers whenever i see an officer near me you gotta yeah you need like an undercover vehicle fuck it dude yeah, hell, I was I was thinking about it, especially me, because I think Mr. K is gonna come try and kill me. Wait, why? Uh, basically, we were doing a, uh, we, we were I was presenting his charges for some shit he did the other day, mm-hmm. and uh, before I was done uh, presenting the charges, uh, other officers told him what the charges were, but they weren't all the charges, and then it led to me looking like I was throwing a bunch of extra charges on him, which I wasn't. They also said something was a stack, which wasn't a stack. And then uh, it, it led to him getting upset, asking me to leave. But then now they knew what those charges were, but they didn't carry out the rest of the process, right? So uh, was this before, here we are. Before K-Town 2? Uh, yes, this is what led to K-Town. 2. 2. Important distinction, because my wife and I got married during K-Town 1, which can never happen oh. again, making our marriage super unique and original. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it was kind of... I mean, it's like, you know, it's a sequel. 
I mean, like, you seen that movie Expendables? It's like, what's the difference? Expendables one and two is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Well, one has Danny Trejo and the other one doesn't. 